let's do a quick recap of where we are, um, what we did last time. So, last mission, we were still in the Neverwinter Wood, kind of wrapping up some quests that we had picked up, mostly to clear out the orcs um, that had been um, moving northward as they were kind of fleeing their previous lair. Um, that you learned in this particular, in the, in the last session, um, that basically had, um, excuse me, had uh, been fleeing the white dragon that kind of infested their lair and, and kicked them out. Um, and so as they fled, they moved northward into the Neverwinter Wood and into a bunch of other areas uh, around Phandalin um, to basically find like a new place to be um, and kind of exist. Uh, and um, a few people that you ran into asked for some help in clearing them. One was named Xanth, a centaur. Um, you cleared out um, the kind of Stonehenge area near his homeland that he asked you to. Uh, and then you um, took on a quest for Falcon um, and cleared out and, and finished um, clearing out uh, a kind of an old overgrown mansion that a bunch of them had kind of like started to, um, to kind of uh, inhabit. Um, and that's kind of where we were last time is clearing out the Woodland Manse, um, which was the former residence of... of um, long gone wizard um the half orcs and orcs kind of teamed up in this space um and essentially used it to grow this weird crazy tree that was creating and spawning um these little twig creatures and vine creatures um and uh while you were here you kind of found one of the half uh, the half orc anchorites of talos um that summoned a bunch of these twig creatures and vine creatures um, and you barely were able to defeat him before you were killed. Um, Zendri kind of suffered his final blow and went unconscious and nearly died. Uh, but thankfully, Flux was able to revive her and bring her back to life. Seducius was also able to give her a little bit more as well and, and bring her some. Uh, and that's essentially where we'll pick up on this one is we're exploring um, the Woodland Manse after we've cleared... We believe all of the combatants in it. We've noticed that the kind of evil miasma around this place has started to clear out as we killed off the ha the, the half work in front of us. And so that's where we start uh, in this large um, kind of room with um, several of the dead dead twig and vine creatures uh, and this half orc um, worshiper of Talos who's half naked in his loincloth kind of lying down on the floor uh, dead in front of you. What would Remind you... me how I see the map again. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I totally... I got to send it here, actually. Oh, shit. Um, oh, yeah. It's not in the chat anymore. Yeah, let me send it. Um, burp, 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 burp. Web server. Yes, yes. Details. What are you drinking there, Nicole? Another Guinness. Nice. Oh my gosh. Dude, I had on my vacation this triple barrel, and I don't like dark beer, and I literally almost threw up after. It was like like molasses, dude. It was gross. Yeah. I couldn't do it. I just can't do it. That thick beer? Two <laughs> yeah. Feet. I love beer, don't get me wrong, but <laughs> thick stuff. Like I don't know, it's like the texture that gets me or something. Mm. That's like the only beer I, I actually enjoy. Oh, Same. Wait, All right. Uh, it is in the chat of chat. There it is. Right underneath musically. <laughs> oh, in our texture. I'll get you guys a second to kind of pull up the map and see. Uh, I probably should open up the Twitch stream in the background. The map isn't working, by the way. At least yeah, this is a socket disconnected. Uh, let me see if I'm presenting it. Let's find out. Interesting. Let's try another one here. Let's try this. Did you know there was a Dungeons & Dragons movie years ago with Marlon Wayans in it? Yes, and Jeremy <laughs> Irons, and it's not great. <laughs> if, you want, if you want one that's even worse, you should watch the second one they made. <laughs> oh, my God. They made a second one? Yes. 
Yes, they did. <laughs> Dean. Web socket disconnected. Yeah. Let me see. We 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 already talked about that. I'm just saying it's still not working at all. <laughs> what are you thinking over there? Try the way you said that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh no! Don't try that one. I just typed it wrong. Um, Remember what I said before, Nicole. Patience. <laughs> this, this little, I'm just kidding. No, I was just. Saying what I see on my screen, jerk. Oh. All right, try this last one that I sent. See if that works for you. And P.S. My usual vodka and Lacroix and lime. There it is. Was I not supposed to say that? <laughs> no, you can say that. It doesn't matter. Listen, the only thing we really can't say is work shit. So as long as you don't talk about work stuff, it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> Perfect. All right, is the map working now? Yes. Neat. Okay, so okay. this is where you are. Um, I'll play uh, Celeste until he gets in. Um, but this is kind of where we uh, are currently. Um, and uh, in front of you, like I said, you see kind of the corpse of this, this half-orc, um, worshiper of Talos, strewn all about are just these, like, twig creatures and vine creatures. Um you still haven't uh, explored every place in this manse, but you do get the sense that you've achieved what you were supposed to do. Hmm. <clears throat> and this was like immediately after the battle, like right, right after. Yeah, yes. this was like right when they like just just they dropped dead. Mm -hmm. yep. the last <clears throat> we haven't taken any sort of like rest or anything. Like, what time of day is it right now? Uh, we got here at about noon. We've been exploring. it's not that late. Maybe like one or two in the afternoon. Okay. And my hit point still says two. You should. It should. <laughs> we have not taken a long yeah, rest or anything. So I'm at eleven. <clears throat> Damn. Um. Well, shit, guys. I feel like we should try and heal ourselves and lick our wounds real quick before we continue around this freaking mansion. Um, yeah, I agree. <clears throat> either. My character did really good last week, or it's messed up, dude. I got full health. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you get? What, what happened, dude? Do you guys get full health? Yeah, you full send it on, dude. Uh, no, actually, Torin, you don't have full health. I just was tracking your health on my own map, uh, so you're actually at sixteen. Uh, yeah, sixteen. Yeah. All right. Oh, but we all got wrecked, dude. Yeah, we did. I think like I have it. the most health out of everybody right now. I'm at 29 out of 39. So if you guys need, uh, I mean, we have to take a rest before I can give you any any spells, any healing spells. But at that point, you heal yourself. So <clears throat> I have a question. I probably should have texted you about this, but if it says up to six creatures, that's not. Is that us or no? Yeah, that's pretty much any okay. any being. Okay. Creatures, kind of like the catch-all term for that. I was confused because I saw another one that said humanoid. So I was like, okay. Who's yeah, humanoid is specifically a humanoid type of creature. So that's a specific subset. But creature is like the big umbrella. Okay. Thank you. I'm a creature of the night. Oh, God. You should know that. <laughs> oh, God. I, 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 do, I, I do know this. That's the challenge. Like three minutes. <laughs> you don't even have a watch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. All right, so what would you guys like okay. to do? We need to rest, bro. We okay. need to take a yeah, but nap. Yeah, you want to rest here? I, I, I'm. Did you still want to check out the, the mansion? I'm just worried if we encounter some other stuff, we're going to get wrecked. True, but if we go out into the woods and y'all are busted. All right. Well... Maybe we should take a short rest and someone, and you've got the most health. Maybe I, you need to take, yeah, as you long need as to take spells, watch. Yeah, as, or as long as my spells can regenerate and I can give you more healing, like I'm down for that too. Hey, Dungeon I'll Master, mm -hmm. uh, what, how could Prayer of Healing help us, if anything? Uh, prayer of Healing could help you a lot if I remember that spell correctly. Hold on one Like second. right now? 
Uh, yes, it's actually kind of... Prayer of Healing is like one of those spells that's really meant to be used outside of combat. It's a big heal, but it takes time. Uh, let me just double check that I'm remembering that one correctly, but I'm pretty certain it's the one. Um, you have to touch us to heal us? Um, <laughs> no, I actually, this one does not require... You want that or something? Damn. Let's see <laughs> yeah, basically, up to six creatures within range of you um, get 2d8 plus two um, uh, for your second level. And if you do it at third level, you can even do more. So, um, But yeah, it, it, the downside of Prayer of Healing is it takes 10 minutes to cast. So you can't do it like in combat, but outside of combat, before combat, like that's really what it's made for. So that, that would be a very good time to use it. If you don't want to rest here and you want to try to just get out and, and hopefully not run into any more bad guys on your way out. What do you guys think? Do that for 10 minutes and then find a good place to rest? Or sure. explore after It doesn't that? like hurt to do it, I don't think. Yeah. Um, hold on. Is it like a level 2 spell or something? Do you think I should do level 2 or level 3? Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what it is. I think you should go the highest. Maybe two, yeah. If we're not going to actually rest anytime soon, you should do the highest. All right, let's do it. Level three. All right, go ahead and player. roll. Uh... I said player of healing. <laughs> <laughs> Seducius, don't even start. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> you saw it coming. I did. I saw. I saw the wheels turning. <laughs> so I just hit. It on the screen because there's no hit slash DC. Correct. Yeah, because it just it automatically lands, so there's nothing to roll for that. You just go ahead and roll how much healing you do. Thirteen. Cool. Everyone gets thirteen points of health back. Hi. Tight, tight, tight. See, look, I did my homework, Nate. Mm -hmm. That only took ten. I'm minutes. proud of you. I'm very Thank proud you. of you. You did your homework live with us right now. No. <laughs> no, she yeah. she actually yeah, knew that ahead of time and had it. I had it. I Verifying just question. Yeah. Just... Well, that yeah, brings Sless up to full life. That's good. Flex is marching first in front of all of us because she has. I, I got you. I'll protect you again. <laughs> uh, it's my lot in life, apparently. I think Flux is back up to full life. I'm way above full life, yes. Let's go, bro. Well, how are you above full life? I mean, I got I was at 29, and everybody got 13. You can only so go I'm up to 39. I know. Yeah, you can only go up to your cap. Um, I got you. I cool. feel you. Uh, all right. So <laughs> I think that's the Jimmy Jam. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> um, I feel like we should check out that tree one more time. Now all those little fucking creatures are gone before okay. we go exploring elsewhere. Sure. So you go back into that area uh, and you look at this tree. Um, it is still present, so to speak. Um, it's there. It's this gnarled, just kind of gross tree that kind of is growing directly out of um, out of this well that it's kind of been crammed into. Um, are you trying to ascertain anything specifically about this? Yeah, I feel like I just want to roll like a perception check to see if it has like something changed from pre-creatures to post-creatures. Uh, oh, okay. Um, roll an arcana check. Yeah. Yeah, you really can't ascertain too much different than the, yeah. um... Than what you ascertained before. Um, I will say now that you've had a little bit of a longer time to look at this, though, I'll give you advantage. So go ahead and roll again. Because this is now be like the second time you've done it between stuff, and you can kind of tell that it's connected somehow. Yeah, I'll give you a little more with that. Um, you're not sure what this is, but it's clearly like some type of magical tree, specifically. Um, you get the sense that the way that it looks and the way the vine creatures look, now that you kind of see them charged out, that they're connected somehow. Um, and that the tree is what somehow spawned or created these vine creatures. Um, you don't a hundred percent know how, but you feel pretty confident that somehow it could make more. Mm. 
Guys, we gotta find a way to freaking burn down this tree. Yeah. Um, but um, that tree is massive. Tree is mm-hmm. thick with three C's. <laughs> three C's. <laughs> <laughs> Just how Seduceus uh, likes it. Here we go. <laughs> Um, well, shit, I mean, unless you guys want to do anything else to the tree, I, I just wanted to see wh- what it was still looking like, so we can probably move on for now. Wait, so we don't want to burn it down, we're just leaving it? Well, last time we tried to do this, pretty much, like, how big this tree is, like, you couldn't burn it down with any spell or weapon that we might possess right now. It's just too, it's too massive. Uh, okay. But at some point, we need to figure out how to get that thing to stop spawning creatures. Um, okay. But maybe if we explore the rest of the mansion, though, maybe it'll give us some, like, clues or something on what this place is. Um, I'm pretty sure you, you discovered this last time with the nature check that one of you rolled. That as a tree, it is susceptible to fire. But it is huge. Mm. It's susceptible to fire? Yeah, it, I know. Is there a way, like, if... if like multiple of of us in this in this group have um like fire capabilities if we can attack it all at the same time sure you could always try let's try it like if everybody had like something yeah, I, I don't i don't think i, I do have, i have a I torch have, i got sacred flame where i'm living all at once oh. hmm I have my torch and my good looks to light it on fire, but that's probably not going to be enough. Celeste kind of chimes in and says, I'm pretty good, uh, pretty good with, uh, fire. with so fire. If it's so, fire that you need, I could probably... Fire that you need, I could probably... I got fire, too. I got fire, too. Uh, that doesn't that sound anything like what I would say. <laughs> says you. Uh, <laughs> says you. Says you. Uh, I think uh, well, it <laughs> happened as soon as someone logged in, so I'm gonna blame that someone. someone. Yeah, as soon as Jeremy's here, it's <laughs> echoing. Jeremy, put your headphones on. Yeah, hang on. Put your Microsoft headphones on. <laughs> not, not that we can say exactly why, but we're glad you made it. <laughs> yeah, Xbox headphones. Yeah, oh yeah, raggedy ass, raggedy ass headphones. Raggedy ass headphones. Dude, <laughs> Yeah, Trent, you missed it last time. Uh, Jeremy busted out his uh, Xbox headphones his, and the whole group. His wrote, Microsoft wrote branded <laughs> Xbox yeah. headphones. Everyone wrote for that. Dude, I gave him praises for that. We played uh, Call of Duty like two nights ago. I was like, finally, bro, because I was listening to him on AirPods. Not good when you're trying to listen to sound. Oh, yeah, Jer, were you were you able to actually like hear the game now? Like, were you, were you hearing the footsteps and stuff? <laughs> Yeah, you're, he's he's there in his beast, he got so shamed last week. He's, he's <laughs> buffering, buffering, buffering. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Diana <laughs> wants to make sure you guys know we're not playing Fortnite right now, by the way. <laughs> Yo, you know I love I got, Fortnite. I, I once months, I got my but... headset, I got the greatest win in, uh, in Call of Duty the other day with Trent. Uh, we played doubles. Uh, we won. He had 15 kills. I had zero. Okay, let me just tell you that right now. So, Hi. so it didn't help at all. Is what you're saying? Uh, it did. I, we got the W. That's all that matters. I, yeah, that's it. That's all that matters. <laughs> uh, I had a lot. And I, had a lot that game. I, I understand. Yeah. As my good friend Vin Diesel says, it doesn't matter if you <laughs> win by an inch or a mile. Winnings <laughs> win. <laughs> You're not first or last. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did not. I did not have a 10 second car. <laughs> uh, all right. So can I catch <laughs> Sless up. We're still in the when the woodland manse. Um, Seduceus has decided to check out the the tree uh, growing out of the well in the courtyard once more, um, and we are so currently trying to something. decide if we should burn it to the ground or not. Uh, to which Sless offered his services. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, also, and we got 13 points of health back, so... Oh, correct. Yes. Oh, good news. Yeah. I'm trying to get uh, signed into Twitch right now because I am getting made fun of by Chelsea and her friend who's in town, and they're watching on Twitch stream. 
<laughs> and just tell, laughing at me. So. Hey, tell get that follow in there. Like, let's grow this. As I'm trying to say. <laughs> she, she, yeah, she followed you. <laughs> is that is that the the wolf character? I don't know what the yes, name is. Yes, the wolf character. Yes, uh, that how, is her. What is that supposed to say? Hey, Emma, what's wolf your name again? Lady. A wo wo wolfish lady M. Her name is Emma. So wolfish um, lady M. Is that the aim screen name you used from like 2004? <laughs> yes, that was the aim uh, screen name used from like 2004. Yeah, yeah, that was the AOL instant messenger name. <laughs> <laughs> don't act like she didn't know what aim was. I don't believe that for a I minute. Know. I know. <laughs> it's her Minecraft name. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, chat's if gonna get rowdy have, tonight. If you didn't have emo lyrics in your away message, were you really a kid in the Yeah, 2000s? like did you even exist in the two thousands? <laughs> 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 uh, oh my gosh. Oh right. a, a, age sex location. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> ASL bro, <laughs> ASL. <laughs> Just real quick, uh, for the chat, for Twitch, and for everyone on stream right now, raise your hand if you had an a an AIM girlfriend or boyfriend. Oh yeah, you know what? an for AIM, sure. like oh, for a, sure. what? an AIM, for yeah, sure. like a yeah, like a totally cyber girlfriend. Sure. Or boyfriend. Oh my gosh, million percent. Yeah, yeah I did not. <laughs> I would say. Uh, it's all about that MySpace, bro. Oh god, right? Uh, the honey <laughs> Who's in your top eight, though? <laughs> All right, so are we uh, burning this tree down? What are you guys doing? Let's try to stay the course. Burn this tree down. <laughs> we're, st we're still trying to burn that tree down? That's up to <laughs> Seducius wanted to, and you offered if they wanted to that you'd help. So. We're going to try and burn it down together. You've got fire, I've got fire. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, are we burning this or what? Yeah, I don't think I have any uh, fire, so I don't. I don't, yeah. I don't think we're going to be able to right now. Unless they change it to like a fire animal, that I don't think it's a thing. Yeah, I mean, if you don't, know, if you, if we don't think it's going to be a, a worthy thing to do, like maybe don't waste a spell cast on that shit. I mean, it's I'm up just to saying. Jeremy. He has like a ton of fire stuff, I guess. Are, is the concern well, that you won't be able to do that? Yeah, the last time you made it seem like if we burn it, it'll just burn like a little twig and won't burn the rest of the tree. I mean, you definitely it feel like the you... the of physics, cool. so I think if you normally burn... I believe what I said was it's a big-ass tree and that it was possible, <laughs> but it might take a couple of chunks. I think we're all picturing the giant tree from Avatar. Uh, like so, like, like think like, of that, like, but like, like a little tree. bit smaller. It's not. It's not like a little bit smaller. You know, it's a little smaller. It's the size of this courtyard, smaller. and the courtyard's like what, thirty feet by thirty feet. So, okay. Well, hey, did you send out a link for the, the map again? How come my map won't load to a newer? Uh, I sent it again. It's in the map. chat. In oh, our, oh, I gotta zoom in here. Yeah, yeah. In our, it's my fault. I figured it out. All right. Well, if you want me to throw some fire at it, let's, let's try. Let's try. Know. I say let's do um, it. Let me see which spell I should do. Oh. What? Um. Well, shoot. I'll just. I guess I'll just throw a firebolt at it. I guess. Okay. Um. Roll. Roll to hit. Um. But I'm gonna give you advantage because it's not moving. Okay, let me just say before we do this, my fear is that as soon as we do this, we're going to get some more freaking twiggies coming out of there. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so we're going to twig them. We're going to twig them. Yo, let me give you, I got guidance, bro. I can give you a little extra D4. Yeah, you can use that on that. All right, I'm going to use right, guidance. Let me go back to the chat here. Hang on. So I'm going to do my sacred flame. Yeah, I guess my only fear is that there's gonna be like, oh a bunch gosh. of crazy things that pop up. Uh, roll oh, again. Are you the... and roll again? Yeah. And remember, you get plus six. Hey, why are you on that Freddy Wi-Fi? Oh over yeah, there, dude. Am I? <laughs> am I choppy? Dude, you're like so yeah. choppy. Oh, that's weird. You guys are like oh, perfect on my end. You sound good, but your video is a little funk. Like a six-second delay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's actually correct. Really Very like know. Robo. <laughs> uh, I'll stop the video and start again. Uh, so, Celeste, that definitely hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Yeah. 
I think it's that high-powered Mac Pro he's got going on. It's a little, a little slow there. <laughs> no, I actually found out Cox, Cox throttles the whole neighborhood if anyone on the neighborhood is using excessive data. Probably you. Sure it's, I'm not using that. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm using a lot. I'm using like two terabytes, but I think they are they were like flagging people at like eight. Wow. Oh, wow. Who's doing eight, what, bro? What, what am I doing? 2D10? Uh, it's 2D10, yeah. Well, that's, uh, so you hit you, you hit this tree and you notice it like it and, it and it almost like winces the tree kind of reacts to it and you feel like the the fire actually does a little bit more damage than what you were expecting because it's kind of weak to this um, so mechanically just so you guys know um, kind of out of game for a minute the tree is vulnerable to fire anything that's vulnerable to a type of damage doubles how much damage it takes so instead of taking 11 in this case it actually took 22 it's still standing. Right. Um, it's a pretty beefy tree, like I said, um, but it, it did take a pretty good hit. Uh, and you feel like, you know, you might have to do this a bunch more times, but you can destroy this tree and it is now on fire. And I'll say every couple minutes, it takes another 20 points of damage. Cool. Should we just wait a couple minutes and see if it turns into a little weed? <clears throat> I think we should keep hitting it with fire. Well, as long as it take right. up the spell slots, that's my only concern. Are so I can. I have produced I have flame as a cantrip, and I can do it at will. And I can like throw fire within Good. like thirty feet. I got guidance. I can do that. I keep giving you extra <laughs> D four. Cool. I think that's how that works. So who else is going to try to damage this thing? Me. With the fire. I got my sacred flame. Um, I don't think sacred flame actually does fire damage though. It doesn't. <laughs> I think Sacred Flame does radiant damage. That's very deceiving. It's, it's got sacred, in it. sacred Flame, though. Sacred Flame. Sacred flame. As... It's like the Flame of the Divine. Uh, let me double check it. Hold on. Um, well, I'll take it then. So I like that. Yeah, it doesn't have... It's yeah, Flame-like it takes... Radiant. Yeah, but it does 1d8 Radiant damage. So that's not Fire damage. Blue. That's like, like Divine Blue. damage or Light damage. So you can still hurt it, but you just might not do that much to it. Shit. I don't have anything else. It's already... Okay. So I'll say it took another 20 points away. of damage as you guys were talking. So, so far it's taken about 40, 45 points of damage so far. And it's burning. Mm. Like, it's starting to... Good burn. You're starting to smell the smoke. Hmm. Shit, why did we do this before? Could have saved yourself the whole battle. <laughs> well, remember, you didn't clear out the vines before, so you would have had to contend with a flaming tree in the vines. But uh, I just sit here and let it burn. I or, think we should keep, keep dumping fire on the lawn. Like, keep doing it. Do it. Don't have any fire stuff. Yeah, I don't have any fire either. I mean, can I just hit it again? Yeah, why not? You can hit as many times as you want. Perfect. Yeah, I guess that's that's where I'm, I keep forgetting is we're not in like a battle, so I could just keep doing this. I don't mm -hmm. have to like wait for my turn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, well let me just... Uh... Cool, that hits. Go ahead and roll your damage again. That hit again. Ten. Cool, so you do 24 points of damage to it as it's now like starting to get into like this raging... <clears throat> roaring fire and this whole area now is getting a little bit intense from the heat you can feel it as this tree now is like completely covered in flames you're kind of like starting to back up away from it as it's it's covered um, as it starts to kind of like send smoke up into the air you hear from outside a little bit of like um grunting um and you remember that there uh -huh. were still boars outside <laughs> oh no i forgot about the boars <laughs> Told you we should have killed them. <laughs> Fucking told you. <laughs> How many boars are outside? There was uh, like three of them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got you know, through like twenty of those little like little yeah. homies. Yeah. Uh, you're also <laughs> in a very confined area as this thing is like now raging fire. So maybe. So maybe we so should like dip set. Super. Yeah. Yeah, dip set for real. And don't we still need to take like a longer rest just to like things get reset for people? Am I incorrect in that? We should at some point. 
when we're not surrounded by a flaming tree and boards. Like a branch falls down, parts of the mansion now are catching fire. Like it's fire, <laughs> fucking fire. All right, so we'll, we'll, get the hell out. Let's, let's get out of the house. Uh, all right, so you get out of the house. Which way are you guys trying to go, north or south? Oh my well, god. Well, well, which way are the boars? Uh, the boars were around the whole place. There was like a pumpkin patch like surrounding the house. There are several boars in all of the pumpkin patches. Um, yeah. Well, there you go. Smash some pumpkins. Uh, let's go. <laughs> okay. Yep. Really okay, good. Billy Corgan. Right. Yeah, oh, yeah, good man. one. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, let's go south. Uh, all right, so you guys start heading southward. Are you guys trying to go anywhere specific? Um, like, so I want to get out of the mansion. Okay, so yeah, you, you can head out of the mansion pretty easily. Um, if you want to get out, you just have to kind of double back through the main exit, um, which you're pretty close to, so I'll, I'll draw it on the map here for you. So um, if you follow the blue arrow from this courtyard, run through, and the exit's right there, and you can get to the main road pretty easily. It wouldn't be anything super challenging. Um. Yeah, I mean, although we still have those those dark spots in the mansion, we should probably check out before the whole thing burns down. I think it's yeah. too late for that, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I think we're. Why All right. Well, out? So let's just let's, yeah, we get GTFO. Get let's get out. All right. Uh, so you guys escape. You guys run out. As you run out, you do notice like parts of the building that was already kind of dilapidated just start to. Poof. And you remember that the house was covered in these overgrown vines. Soon as the fire hits those vines, it's just <laughs> like the house is now this roaring flame. Um, there are boars and things that are kind of scattering in all directions. Um, let's see what happens with that. <laughs> they all run away. None stay to deal with you. They all just take the fuck off. Yes. Um, so you guys want to keep going? Or are you just staying here to roast marshmallows? What's your game plan? Um, <clears throat> so part of me feels like if all those creatures are running away from this burning house, maybe we should like find a spot just outside the house and take a short rest and like recharge ourselves before we continue on this journey. But open, open to suggestions. Wait, wait, did you guys get attacked before I got on here again or something? No, no. we're just all still, like, spell, all of our spell slots are pretty much used up, and we're still, like, oh. half-life half for most of us. And just to mechanically yeah. remind you, if you want to get spells back, you need to take an actual long rest, which is at least six hours. Mm. Mm. You said mm. it's about, like, one, two o'clock in the afternoon? Mm-hmm. Dang. It's a long nap. Yeah. yeah. It's, gonna, it's gonna throw off our sleep schedule. Sounds like a good <laughs> day off, dude. How far away? How far away? From, how far away are we from Falcon? Because this mission was for Falcon, correct? Correct. Not far. Maybe we, four, we four, four hour, hour five hour walk at most. You guys want to risk that? <laughs> I mean, it's probably it's probably the yeah, safest bet. Yeah. I feel like it can't be much worse than what we just dealt with, so yeah. maybe I could be awfully wrong. But. Can you pull up the other map, Nate, that shows... The full like, place? Yeah. W yeah, like what's in between us and Falcon? I sure can. Um, so currently you guys are at the red circle. Uh, Falcon's is the orange circle. So it's it's not very far. It's not bad. Yeah, you, and you guys remember how you got here. It wasn't like a particularly challenging thing. Yeah. Yeah, let's just go there and talk to him, and then we can actually do like a regular rest. Rest. All right, let's do it. Get some wine. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Um, and I will say, as you're walking, you can take a short rest if you guys want to take, like, roll hit die. You just won't be able to get... Um, you won't be able to get like your spell slots back and some of your other things, but anything that recovers on a short rest, you can get back. Yeah, 
Well, fuck it. Let's do a short rest then. So you guys kind of go through this area. You're, you're pretty used to this space right now. Who's leading the bunch, just so I know? Well. Flux. Flux? Okay. Flux, can, you, just, can yeah. you roll a survival check for me? Uh, mm -hmm. And then while you're doing that, um, if everyone wants to go ahead and hit a short rest and roll as many hit die as they feel like they want to, um, to recoup life oh. if you like it back. Uh, I rolled on the D&D website on my character sheet, and I got 10. 10? Okay. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. you, you, you do kind of make it through the woods without too much difficulty. Um, you've been through this space back and forth a few times now, so it's not particularly hard for you. Um, takes a few hours, um, but you do get to... Um, you do get to Falcon's Hunting Lodge and, and kind of see that space um, once again. Um, let me just get it loaded up so you can see it. Ba -ba 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 Okay, so you guys uh, end up coming into um, end up coming into Falcon Hunting Lodge. Actually, from the opposite way, you're kind of you're not. Um, aren't you? Are you coming from the riverside? Let me check that real quick. Yeah, you're not coming from the riverside. You're coming from the opposite end. Um, so let me just get it on the screen so you guys can see it. Presenting. Coming in from behind. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, so you're actually kind of coming from that northern path uh, into Falcon's Hunting Lodge and you kind of see it start to crest over and through kind of the clearing uh, as they're coming up it all seems relatively in order at this point nothing too crazy um, you guys want to go right inside are you trying to do anything specific uh, I'm trying to go right inside to get that rest I don't know about you guys yeah let's go I get the wine, dude. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no Helga here. Seducius. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you, um, you guys go in, kind of go through. You're you're led in by um, Corwin, the uh, kind of um, guardsman of this area. He kind of welcomes you guys in, uh, and he shares, "Well, welcome back, everyone. I'm glad you guys uh, returned. It's cool to see you again." Did you uh, want to stay, I guess? Yes. Can we get a room, please? Sure. I mean, you guys know where the guest rooms are. You can just uh, go right <laughs> over there if you'd like. Uh, it's a little early in the day, though. Did you want to do anything else? Because it's, you know, like, yes. like <laughs> five. Eat some dinner. Some, some dinner. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll just head into the, <laughs> the, the lodge there. And, um, you know, Pell can, can fix you up something. So. All right. Have Sounds a good, good have a good night, I guess. Goodbye. Thanks. Kind of... so exciting to talk to you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, as you guys sit pure, down in the lodge. Pure excitement. <laughs> uh, you enter into the lodge. <laughs> you enter into the lodge, uh, into a very familiar mm -hmm. area. Um, although it's not quite a familiar scene. Um, the trophies and things are there, but instead of kind of an empty space or a um, like typical atmosphere when you see Falcon kind of eating, what you actually see is Falcon leaning over a table with a map of what seems to be Neverwinter Wood uh, laid down on that space. Nate, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's very like <laughs> Oh, is it that bad? Here, hold on. Let me restart the video. Let me see if it works a little better. Like, it is. It is pretty funny. <laughs> I was like, why are you laughing so hard? It's just weird because it looks perfect on my end. Yeah. Stop is that on the stream like that mm -hmm. <laughs> Stream is good too. It's super weird. Oh yeah, the stream is clean. It's Discord that's being weird. Yeah, I don't know why Discord's being so funky about it. Uh, let's try again, maybe? Now I'm concerned. Time to, time to upgrade that RAM there, Nate. <laughs> Adrian, that was you laughing at too. <laughs> you guys are like dying in the corner. I was like, I don't know if they're texting or what. Is it better or is it the same? 
It's like it's it's better. It's better. But not it's by like, much. It looks clear too. Yeah. yeah. It was like, yeah. I, I think if I think we should create like a one through ten Freddy scale, and you're at like a six right now. Oh, but Freddy so. is like a ten. <laughs> yes. How bad yeah, you're, like a, you're like a six. Uh, I'll do this then. I'll just turn the camera off on Discord, and I'll just keep it, keep it on my dude. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so you walk into the lodge and there is Falcon looking over some maps on his oh, stuff. Oh god. <laughs> actually, actually you know, probably, probably for uh, our own safety, we should probably just, instead of calling it a Freddy scale, just call it an F scale. We'll, we'll say it's an F scale. That's probably, that's probably smarter. That's probably smarter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what do you guys want to do uh, in the lodge? It's about 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock? Uh, well, I think seeing... Uh, Falcon, they're looking at a map. Uh, at least sparks my curiosity to see what that guy's doing. So I don't know about you guys, but I think I'm gonna go try and talk to Falcon, even though he doesn't like me. So <laughs> <laughs> he's so far, he's like really like. First of all, his he's not really facing you. He's looking down, so he doesn't notice that you're coming in yet. Yeah. <clears throat> um. I'm gonna I'm gonna approach Falcon. Uh, I'm gonna <clears throat> clear my throat. Uh, good evening, Falcon. Evening. Do you uh, <laughs> need some? Oh my god! You need some? <laughs> <laughs> it's like yes, always. <laughs> this is like talking to Jeremy at work. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but uh. Sounds like an ass. So, <laughs> I think um, I think you and I, you and I have already had this conversation. So if um, it's going to be more oh, of your antics, Falcon. I think I'll probably just uh, pass and let you move on through. <laughs> Falcon, forgive me. We've had a we've had a long a long day, uh, a little bit delirious. We found uh, an an old mansion in the woods uh, with a crazy kind of mystical tree, lots of crazy the orcs and boars and twig creatures so um just want to uh, let you know that we took care of some things and also know she's looking at a map so can't believe i'm saying this but uh, you telling me that you actually took care of that job i posted down in Fandolin? uh we yep. did sir we did we uh burned the place to the ground including this strange tree which i think is where a lot of the problem was coming from so i just want to Double check what I'm hearing, um, and, and I, I don't want to sound unappreciative, but are you telling me that you left a burning fire in the middle of the woods? <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, trying to confirm. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, indeed, we did, Falcon, for good reason. <laughs> Called nine one one right after and told him where it's at. Do you mind <laughs> sharing a little bit of the reason? Because. Um, I already kind of thought you were about as uh, useful as a shit popsicle, but I don't know how else to handle that. <laughs> okay, well, listen. Uh, we were under heavy attack, and we deduced that this tree was the source of it, and so we burned that tree, uh, and we fled the area when the fire was starting to burn down the rest of that mansion, because truthfully, I don't know if we could have controlled the fire, uh, so we wanted to to get as far away from it as we could. All right. Well, I hope this fire doesn't spread. Uh, luckily, it's still pretty pretty wet outside, and none of the trees have been too dry. Um, but it sounds like you might have some more cleanup or something to do later. Anyway. Uh, truth be told, after we get just a little bit of rest, uh, I would be more than happy to check back out that area to make sure the fire is under control and do anything we can <laughs> to put it out. Uh, great. Yeah, sounds excellent. Well, I mean, head off to bed then. I don't know. I appreciate what you're doing. Are you looking for anything else, or? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> no, no. I just wanted to let you know what we did, and you know, truthfully, I was a little bit curious about what you were looking at on the map. If you had more plans to go out and try and find some things that maybe we could help with. Uh, roll a persuasion check. Um, at disadvantage because he does not like you. <laughs> he hates me. He hates my guts. Next time, someone else is talking to Falcon. 
Well, it's because it's he knows you're looking for a rodeo partner. So he's, <laughs> he, he, doesn't want, wow. he doesn't want any part of that. Uh, roll one more time because you have disadvantage. <sighs> I'm going to get like a two. <laughs> <laughs> Persuade. Well, I can't spell persuasion again. <laughs> nice job. Uh, on the first time. Uh, like two good rolls. Well... I mean, I guess you did help me out and you finished the job I was looking for. Um, I'll make sure Corwin pays you all before you leave. Um, I'm looking at the rest of the wood. These orcs have become more of a menace in these last days, and I didn't think he was going to be anything serious, but as it stands, looks like they're getting everywhere now. I'm a little concerned. Uh, I thought they would just go back where they came from, but from what I've found from a few of them, sounds like some dragon or something took over where they used to live, and now they're trying to live here which is a bit of a problem so I'm just trying to figure out where they are and hopefully we can get rid of them for good before this is a problem Falcon listen I know that we don't always see eye to eye but um, I hope you understand that uh, my my team uh, we're, we're very anxious to find any information on the dragon because that is our main mission uh, here is to kill the dragon so if you have any information or if we can help you uh, in any way to get closer to the dragon, uh, I would really appreciate it. Uh, I mean, well, I, I don't have any information. Did you manage to talk to one of the orcs? That's how I found out why they were coming down. Did you keep any of them alive or anything? Um, we didn't. Um, the, the couple of orcs we met, uh, you know, didn't seem talkative or maybe we didn't know how to talk to them. How, how do you actually speak to an orc without it attacking you? There's a lot of different reasons. Some are magical. I mean, you can make them get a stick or something in the ground and draw. Some people learn how to speak orcish. Some orcs can speak common. Uh, Hail, did you at least search the area before you left? Maybe they left something important. <laughs> no, the fire. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't check the entire area before the fire took over. So you burned it down without looking around first. What you're telling me. <laughs> So and I'm really, I'm really trying to be appreciative of what you've done here. You're just making it real hard. So I'm, I don't put out there in the world. Uh, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Do you remember? Do you remember a name or anything from where they came from? Oh, uh, guys, what was the name? There was some god person he was praying to. Talos. Talos. Well, sure. Yeah, Talos is the thunder god. I think that's who those half orcs worship. But the the orcs actually come from somewhere else. I think from what they said, it was somewhere to the south, some of the mountains. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, we didn't get any of that information. Do you know what kind of dragon it is? Maybe I can help you a little bit. Maybe point you in the right direction. You know what color it is? What it looks like? Isn't it a white dragon, guys? White dragon. Blue eyes. <laughs> It is. That was like the beginning of the story, like <laughs> seven weeks ago. It is a white dragon. You are correct. It is a white dragon. Uh, wow, nice work. It is. Well, as well, far as I can reckon, I know these orcs came down, came up from the south. There's a mountain range down there. If it's a white dragon, white dragons like it cold, from what I know. Uh, so, you know, there there are some places in that area that maybe could be. Maybe it could be important. And he kind of like moves some of the maps around. Um, and he gets you, he shows you a map of the Sword Coast, kind of this area that you're in. Um, so he kind of scrolls, kind of moves a little bit. And he circles an area on your map. He says, well, this area over here is called Aspire Peak. It's actually not too far from Phandalin. Um, okay. And uh, it's, it's, it's one of the tallest peaks in that area. I don't know of anything that's up there um, or any place where a dragon would want to be. Um, you'd have to do some searching, and it's it's treacherous and cold up there. You could die just from the elements. So I don't know if going there not knowing where exactly to go is a good idea, but you could do it. Um, as far as what's around here, I know from what I've heard from the other orcs that I took care of, um, sounds like they're holed up in this other area called the, the Shrine of Sarvest. It's kind of an old ruined shrine that's been here for ages uh, sounds like they they try to take nests there as well maybe there's a few more you could find in that space if you want to try to get something a little more specific um or again you could just i don't know man go fucking look 
we will probably try and go to that old shrine area to get some more information before we find uh, the dragon in the mountains. I, I, I appreciate uh, you giving me that little bit of information, Falcon. Sure, man. All right, man. Well, if it's cool with you, we're gonna go. We're gonna go get some rest, and we'll leave you be. Yeah, help yourself to the guest rooms, uh, unless you'd like to pay for a nicer room. I, I I'm okay. I am okay with with the guest room. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so he take care. Kind of kind of goes back to his map searching. Um, what a fucker. <laughs> I just can't believe you said take care. <laughs> Damn. I just, know, I, I just don't know why you sound so scared of him all the time. I, I don't know either. He's just <laughs> so intimidating to you. He's not charmed by me. I don't know what to do. <laughs> he's, he's, not, he's not into your moods at all. Uh, so you guys go back outside into the um, guest rooms. It's getting a little bit later in the day. It's probably about 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock now. Um, you can rest here for a bit. You can talk amongst yourselves if you guys want to have any conversations with each other, maybe strategize a bit, and then take a long rest. Kind of up to you what you'd like to do. Yeah, you guys have any guesses how uh, how long it would take us to get to that kind of sword mountains area like he was talking about? Well, I think Based we need to go to the other place first. Go to that temple, try and talk to a freaking orc. Uh, yeah, you have, a, you have a couple of choices. Um so you could, you can try to go to the shrine um, that he he pointed out on the map for you, um, which is, is that the green circle? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a new one here for you. I'll say it's this um, oh. like purplish fuchsia circle. Um, it's over here. Fuchsia. Um, and you you know this because many of you came from this village where you first fled when the dragon attacked the. Um, that's that's pretty close to the city of Conaberia, which is right on the road, the main road. Um, so you know you can probably get there in a day, um, you know, eight day, eight hours travel. Uh, and if you left early enough, you'd you'd get there before nightfall. Um, you um, you could again also just go right to Icepire Peak. It's a pretty obvious like mountain. It's covered in snow. Um, and, uh, you know, you can maybe go to Fandolin a bit, maybe ask around a little bit more there. Um, you could try to grab an orc, talk to an orc. You've got a, a few choices. You could try to discover a little more what the shrine is. You've got a lot of choices if you want to do stuff. Um. <clears throat> um, I mean, I'm down for whatever, but I feel like I feel like we should probably listen a little bit of Falcon around that mountain being treacherous if you don't know where we're going. So maybe try and get a little more information before we go up there. Um, but if we do that, we need to figure out how we're even going to try and talk to an orc. I don't even know who has that ability or how we'd even try and pull that off. Uh, you can check what yeah, languages you speak, by the way, in your main um, senses and abilities area. Or I think, yeah, I think it's in that one. Uh, yeah, like I only speak common and celestial. So yeah, if anyone speaks orc, or if anyone has like a comprehend languages spell. You could also try to buy a Comprehend Languages spell from Fandolin. You could see if someone knows how to make that. Got some choices. Yeah, you can mm. buy spells. You Where can have do, I been? I mean, you, could, you just got to ask. Ask for what you want. <laughs> see what comes up. Wow. Oh, the world is literally your oyster. <laughs> can I buy an oyster? You can. <laughs> <laughs> you can. Yes. You're on the coast. They'd probably be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does anyone have any? Does anyone have I, any languages? Not at work. No. I have yeah. common, Dra deep speech, Dragon, draconic, and infernal. So, what about though when they're boars? Like, I know some of us can maybe talk to animals. So I wonder if that's even an option to try and talk to one of them as a boar before they transform and try and kill us. Roll a nature check or history check, Seducius, whichever you'd rather do. And I'd actually like everyone as well to roll a survival check because you all heard, um, you all heard uh, Falcon talk about Ice Spire Peak. <laughs> I got a shit roll. I think we tried to talk to one of the 
these guys last time, right? And I with a like half boar, half half boar, half work, and I thought we couldn't. Did we try to? I don't remember that we did. Uh, yeah, remember I, the one that I decided to just to puke. straight up attack? Remember? <laughs> yeah, you just don't know if it ignored you purposely or um, oh. didn't talk to you. Uh, but it didn't. It didn't talk to you now. Um, uh, so anyone that rolled more than a fifteen on that survival check um, gets like you can, climbing Ice Spire Peak isn't impossible, um, but doing so without like cold winter gear or um, or other like hey, I need to be prepared for, like, cold temperatures type of stuff could could possibly kill you. You know, it's, mm. it's, it's, it's below freezing up there. There's snow. There's ice. Um, you don't know of any habitats or places up there that would be safe for people. Um, so when, when, when um, Falcon says it's treacherous, like, it, it's treacherous, it could be problematic. So you would want to probably, if you did want to go up there, you would want to try to buy some gear first from town. Um seeing what you kind of know of that area um and yeah what why don't we um shopping yeah go shopping buy some gear and then uh do we want to go like maybe just on the way there we can go to the temple river or or find an orc and see if we can find some way to communicate with it yeah, where are we gonna go? Are we going to Fandolin to get gear? Is that, is that the only place, or does or does Conaberry have? Stuff? Uh, Conaberry is cleared out. Remember, everyone fled the town oh, from the dragon yeah. and from the orcs as well. Mm, yeah, it's, it's gone. You could try and like yeah. salvage stuff, but y y you've been there through there before. It was pretty cleared out. All right, then I guess so, yeah, let's go buy gear and try and find some spells or something in Fandolin. So there's there's a couple different ways to get to Fandolin. Um, you can take the more direct route, which would get you there in a couple of days, um, or you can take kind of the the pathway out of the wood and kind of circle back, um, which would take you by the the shrine. Uh, are you are you planning to do anything specifically? Just get there as fast as you can, or what? Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you want to hit up the shrine on the way to Fandolin? Yeah. Yeah, did so, we take a rest yet? No, we need to take our rest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about what we wanted to do. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, why don't we get up early in the morning and we'll go to the and we'll get an early early start and head towards the the shrine. Cool. All right. So um, you guys kind of bunker into the, the guest house after an hour or so of chatting and kind of strategizing with each other. Um, are you guys all going to sleep? Is anyone staying up to keep watch or do anything else? I don't think we have to, right? Since we're in this little... You've, you've slept here before and it's been relatively safe. But, you know, all that stuff yeah. is up to you, not me. Yeah, unless Dawkins tries to come smother me with a pillow in the middle of the night. <laughs> I, think, I, I, think I wouldn't put it past that. I wouldn't put it past that. Yeah. Fucking A. Uh, yeah, I think we just all take a long rest. Yeah. Um, so everyone go ahead and hit long rest. I like this music tonight. Where is this from? Uh, it's from a game called Divinity Original Sin 2, which I also stream. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, brought to you by... A little, a little advertisement over there. <laughs> you know, it's all about the schmooze, all I'm saying. It, it, yeah, <laughs> brought to you by my new merch on our website. Uh, yeah, pick up a new, pick yeah, up a new sweatshirt. I should, <laughs> I should link the the merch tag in the in the. In you the, should. In the chat. You should. Uh, um, so, uh, you guys start to wake up, um, as it's kind of getting to dawn, it's pretty early, like you, you're barely seeing sunlight come through and you are awakened by the sound of loud grunting and guttural screaming. Um, it's not me this time, guys. <laughs> and, uh, from afar, you hear fucking orcs, everyone get up. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> now, look, now, I have, now I have to save Falcon's ass. Nah, he's gonna save our ass, dude. Trust. <laughs> <laughs> uh, check one quick thing. Do, 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 um, while we're doing that, if everyone could roll initiative for me.
Wait, what? Oh. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Check initiative. <laughs> yeah, whoops. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? Rolling initiative. <laughs> uh, ch you gotta do check initiative. Hashtag check. Uh, exclamation point. Oh, hashtag. No, Wait, exclamation point. No, 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 no. Exclamation point check initiative. That's what I did the first time. Why didn't it work? You didn't spell it right. Oh, you didn't spell it right. Uh, ah, there you go. Seducius, make sure you have at least one capital letter and at least one number in there. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I spelled it wrong again. <laughs> Even not the only one. I'm trying to drink whiskey right now, dude. Come on. Oh, <laughs> let's go. All right, I'm just gonna get the map set up here. Yo, I have a great idea, guys. Once once this whole pandemic's <laughs> over, we all pitch in and we take a we take a trip to Ireland and we play D and D live in Ireland. Oh my I'm god, that sounds great. Let's fucking do that. Let's go that do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. And you're also going to time it. Boss with of the castle. <laughs> it's also going to time well with Metallica's next tour. So that way Craig I mean, can maybe. also yeah. see them. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Well, Trent, you're going in on those cheese. It's man. Damn. <laughs> Dude, that's the gaming move. You can't get it on your fingers. You got to just throw the box back so your fingers don't get all. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> all sketchy, dude. You got hand sanitizer hitting between every game, dude. That's how you keep them dry to carry Jeremy with those 15 kills, you know? Uh, Come on. Okay. Uh, Let's see what we got for initiative. Okay. Uh, okay. Just remember that next time you need me to revive you, okay? Just oh, okay. That. Okay. You just uh, leave me on the ground. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Oh, my gosh. Uh, got Are you going to show us your video anytime soon, Nate? Which video? Oh, I'm just worried it's going to get all, like, choppy again. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I was like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> he's got a nine. And Yo, I do want to buy a shirt, dude. Those are freaking dope. Oh, did I? Did I? Did I, I forgot you. Yeah, you weren't there for the the launch. Yeah. Um, Star. No, I saw it on Instagram, but I didn't. What? Can I ask? Uh, what brand they are? Are they like Gildan or something? Oh yeah, they're just Threadless. Threadless. Okay, I like Threadless. Those fit good. <laughs> like, shirts fit me weird because I'm like, they need to be kind of long, so third list is fine. Yeah. If you need any models, Nate, to model the merch, you just let me know. I will find okay. someone else, yes. Thank you for offering. Oh, <laughs> uh, dude, I have a squad, dude. We should do a group I'm just, I'm just trying to boost oh, your sales. 100%. Uh, okay, so you guys are all inside the um, area kind of to the north. That's the, um, that's the guest area. Um, as you're all kind of sequestered in there, you hear Falcon yell from outside that there are orcs inside the lodge. Um, and it, I think it's first up is Torin's move. So Torin, what would you like to do? There's a million of them. Uh, oh, shoot. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, there's a fuck ton. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that the official D&D right. &D term? <laughs> there is. It's in the, in the guide, it says, place a fuck ton of orcs. <laughs> Um, Wait, I, oh, I can't move my guy. Is that not available anymore? Or am I doing it wrong? Uh, let me check. That's weird. I you have to hit the little wand up at the top. Yeah, don't 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 have the wand oh. selected. Have the crosshair selected. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> whoa. Oh, Craig's well, I had the crosshairs. They're just moving my screen around. Like it's Windows Paint, dude. What is happening? Uh, you should be able to move them. <laughs> so, you have to pick the wand. Oh, you do have to pick the wand? You do? Mm -hmm. That seems weird. You have to move your guy? No, the wand so the just gives a little like. Wand is doing like a fairy dust, dude. <laughs> right. No, if you well, that's what I did. If I hit the wand, if it's my turn, I can like hold. I can select my guy and like drag him. That's weird. Hold on, let me refresh the screen. Maybe it's just should let you from the settings that I see. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. I just had a refresh. Okay. Um, so remember, you can only go about thirty feet, but yeah, you can get into range with that dude if you'd like. All right, let's do that, and I am going to destroy. And how do you want to attack this dude? I'm gonna do uh, him with the Dragon Slayer sword. Okay. Go uh, ahead two handed. Ahead. That I can just roll. Can I roll that? I, don't, I forget. Yeah, to be honest, sorry. Roll. Attack. 
Um, yeah, you can do it one of two ways. If you want to do it in the chat, it's exclamation point attack space and then like Dragon Slayer Sword. Or you can do oh, it, it on your QQ. character sheet uh, just on Torrent yeah. if you go to that uh, little button. Yeah, let's do that. That one's cool. I like when it rolls. All right, that is a whole 12. Uh, 12, I think, misses. Yeah, that misses. Was Bummer. that was that your damage roll, though? Or was that your hit roll? Oh, I did my damage roll. You're right. Do, do your hit, and we'll just remember 12 if you land. Okay. Um, 18. Uh, that hits. Okay, so you do 12 damage to that orc. A oh, one. Uh... And he just pretty much buckles. He's almost dead. Okay. Damn. Suck it, orc. Maybe we yeah. should try to talk to him. Who can talk to him? Try to talk to them and I kill them. <laughs> right, he's on his knees. Hit him. Hit him right down. Yeah, yeah well, I thought we were supposed to try to talk to him instead of, instead of attacking him. Uh, that's going to bring us to the other one who is going to try and get over the wall here. Um, I'll say with his movement, he can just get inside. That's going to bring us to the next one. Uh, who is going to rush into Falcon because he saw him first and he's going to try and hit Falcon. Yeah. Hit that fucker. <laughs> uh, he's going to hit Falcon and he does nine points of damage to Falcon no. with his giant axe. Uh, Falcon seems unfazed, though. Uh, Flux, that brings us to your turn. <laughs> right, I'm, gonna try. I'm gonna try to move the homie. Can I wait? Let me see. Can I get close to this? Dude? You can go can 30 feet total. Right. So, alright. I got to number nine. I want to attack this ball that just okay. hit my man, Falcon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cast Thunderous Smite. Okay. And then, um, I think I have to use a weapon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so I'm going to use Thunder Smite uh, with my long sword. <laughs> you have to explain that term to Seducius. So what's your uh, roll? I rolled uh, 24, bro. That hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. And don't forget your Thunderous Thonic damage. Alright, so I got 7 plus... <laughs> 7 plus 7. Uh, so 14. 14, uh-huh. Awesome. I'm gonna check one quick thing. It must succeed on a strength saving thrower if it'll push 10 feet away. Ooh, fail. All right. Uh, 10 feet. Yeah. So he shoots back 10 feet. Uh, and he also takes 14 points of damage. I'm just gonna say that's enough because he's only got one point left and there's a fuck ton of these. So you kill him. Damn. Bad, dead. Um, all right. Oh, uh, damn. That'll bring us back to one of these other orcs who is also going to try to get inside. I'll say he uses his full movement to do that. Um, and he's going to hurl a javelin at Flux. Oh, man. And he misses. Hey. Uh, that'll bring us back to this first one, though, who's already kind of combating with Torrin, so he'll continue to do this. He's going to try to take a swing with his great axe. He does. He hits you with his huge axe as it kind of rips into you and does nine points of damage, Torrin. That week's off, dude. Get off me. <laughs> Get off me. Yeah. My full health, though. Right? Yeah. Uh, all right, so that'll bring us to another orc who's kind of outside. He's going to... He can't get over the wall yet. He's going to stay on that outside. Zendri, that brings us to your turn. My goodness. My goodness. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, here I am. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take a stab at Z or O one. Okay. My crossbow. Uh well you're you know inside me? of a room currently. Well get me out of the room. <laughs> uh you can go there and you'd get a shot. Bam. Right there. It's perfect. Yeah. Alright, roll to attack yeah, with your crossbow. Through Falcon. <laughs> 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 Wait, what did you say? Do the hit? Yeah, yep, first? Yep, roll to hit first. 
correct, uh, correct. You have been doing your homework. Twelve. Uh, that misses. Whoop. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. Anything else you want to do on your turn? Any bonus actions or anything? Might be a good idea to use that spiritual so, weapon. <clears throat> yes, I was like, I do have a bonus action now. Yeah. Hint, hint. Let's do it. Uh, so spiritual weapon's pretty cool. It's kind of new for you, so let me explain it. Basically, you can summon yes. a weapon of your type. It just has to be a melee weapon. Um, so you can flavor it, make it look however you want it to look. Um, and on your next turn, as a bonus action, you can make the weapon attack somebody. So, like, it has to be, like, my, what, my mace? It could be anything. You can, it's got to be a melee weapon, so it's got to be, like, a ranged weapon, but it could be a sword. It could be a giant baseball bat if you wanted that. It could be literally anything. Oh. So, you can, you can. Can I do, like, a, I'll think about it. So I just have to activate it, and then I can use it next turn? Correct. Okay. Done. Cool. All right. I'm going to just put something on the field there. Do you know what you want it to look like, just so I know, so I can put it on the map? Um, how about, can't we do, like, a Thor hammer? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's Thor's yeah. hammer called? I forget. <laughs> Tell me. Mjolnir. Mjolnir. Yeah. yeah. I never knew. I never heard well, that here's, word. Here's the funny thing. Even though Seducius knows the name, he's still not worthy, so he can't look it up. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. You said Mule. Yeah. What? Say it again. Mule near. Mule near. Yeah. It's actually a word with nothing okay. but consonants. There's no vowels in it. <laughs> pretty, <It's> just... <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> My favorite was... Yeah. My favorite was in Thor 2 when Jane's friend calls it Meow Meow. Meow Meow. All right, I'm just going to put it next to you. It's this little hammer icon. Um, <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I didn't have time to find a pretty one, but I'll try to find one later. Uh, I love it. That, that, no, that is straight dude. up MS Paint right there. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just found like one off the internet somewhere. Uh, all right, let's put you away. Uh, burp, 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 burp. Uh, so that'll bring us back. So outside of the gate, you see this giant boar just smash through. Um, and he comes out. This boar looks like um, one of the ones you left in the pumpkin patch. Uh, and he charges <laughs> forward. And I think he's going to go right for... Falcon as well. Good. Falcon, Falcon. And he is going to just try to bore him, like hit him with his tusks. He will hit, and he does six points of damage to Falcon. Falcon still seems unfaced. <laughs> what? <laughs> that guy's invincible. <laughs> he seems yeah, to be. What? The heck. Uh, all right. So, Seducius, it's your turn. Yeah. Well, I was going to go for A1 anyway. I want to do Crown of Madness on A1. Uh, so, you got to get out of that area first. Yes, I do. Like, put me somewhere near <laughs> Zendry. Should be close enough. So, I'm gonna, and then... You can do it yourself. We just went over this. <laughs> refresh. You got to hit the twinkle button and then hit the arrows. <laughs> Sorry. All right. It's all right. I don't mind. I don't mind. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, and then he yeah, has Crown of Madness because it has a long range, so I could hit A1 from here. Yeah, 100%. Um, so it's DC 14, I think? That is correct. Does it say Wisdom, Ooh, by the way? It, dude. it doesn't matter. He failed. He rolled a 4. Oh, there you go. Uh, wisdom. Yeah, so, it, yeah, the, you, you see that typical, like, translucent <laughs> purple thorny crown just kind of spin rapidly and just <laughs> lock into his brain, and his eyes kind of go wide in this crazed stare now. Um, anything else Heck on your yeah. turn, Seducius? Um... No, at the moment, um, that that is it for now. Okay. That is it for uh, now. Celeste, that brings us to your turn. Oh uh, yes. Well, let me let me go ahead and clean this up for you guys here. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I am gonna do. Um, I'm gonna do a third level scorching ray here, but I'm gonna move first. Okay. Let me move my guy. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I can move 30 feet. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. 
Okay. Or maybe I'll come here and I'll pick up this hammer because I'm worthy. And then, uh... <laughs> Actually, no, I'm going to come back here. Okay. Um, well, shoot. Uh, Flux is in the way, isn't she? Uh, so I wouldn't worry so much about if someone's in the way. Um, I, I Unless, like, it's a very narrow space, I don't count that. So you, you can get okay. a better shot if you'd like. Okay, perfect. Well, I'm going to do a third level uh, Scorching Ray, and mm -hmm. I wanted to attack both A1 and Zero one. Uh, sure. All right, so let me roll the hit here. So that's three rays. How many are going to Zero one, and how many are going to A1? Oh, yeah, two to A1, okay. and then one to Zero one. Cool. All right, roll first roll to hit for me. Give me three of the rolls, and I'll know. Did you see those? No. Oh, sorry. I need to scroll down. My <laughs> fault. Uh, so the first one and the last one missed. The middle one hits. So you get one uh, hit on A1. Yes. Okay. So let me see. And that's uh, 2D6. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. So, but don't I get a plus six for my hit? So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Level. So they all hit. Yeah, they all hit. Ooh. So remember, you can add a plus six as well. If you just do roll yeah, 1d20 plus six, should've. it'll add it for you. I should have run. I should have done that. No, but that means they all hit. So go ahead and roll damage. Roll. Yeah. All right. First one does eight. Uh, 16. Nice. All right. Big hit on the anchorite. And then you just annihilate O1. one. He is dead, dead. Yes. He just kind of and flames and dies. <laughs> uh, anything else you'd like to do on your turn, Celeste? Uh, no, because I haven't been attacked. I'm ready for that. <laughs> Got that retribution ready to go. Okay, so one of the orcs I again. I am ready to go. He can't get inside. Well, actually, he burst it open, but he can only reach about there, so he stops. Uh, the other one does the same thing, can really only get to about the outside and stops. It's now Falcon's turn. Uh, Falcon. What does Falcon want to do? Uh, Falcon is just going to take his longsword, and since he's got someone right in front of him, he's just going to mince him up three hits from this dude. So, first one hits, I think. Let's check. What's your bonus? Longsword. Uh, 14. Yep, that hits. 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 So he hits three times with his longsword. Um, he's swinging with both hands. So seven times seven. What's seven times three real quick for me? 24? 21? 21. 21. So 21 points of damage to the anchorite. Uh, and you swear you see a tinge of jealousy from Seduceus. Uh, no. <laughs> and then he's going to just kind of circle around as well, just so he gets a, in case he needs to fire. He's going to get a better shot at the orcs incoming. Uh, anything else Falcon wants to do? Any bonus actions you have, Falcon? Falcon just a BA or what? Uh, all right, it is now one of the other orcs turn. I think this one is right in the middle. So I think he's just going to try to cluster up with the rest. This one's going to jump the wall. You can get to about there. Ooh. And this last one's going to just go up as far as he can. He's just going to stop at the wall. All right, it brings us back to the top of the round. Torn, it's your turn again, sir. All right. Well, um... Get that A1 see. guy. Hold on. Uh, oh, here, let me... I'm on my one here. A1, dude. He's easy, though. Oh, Maybe I should go for a... Uh, mystery. Yeah, but don't, the, don't yeah. the orcs kind of follow that guy, or no? Sort of. You, Isn't he you, almost dead? Um, no. He's maybe about half. Oh. Um, so oh, okay. the orcs and the half orcs kind of have this tenuous union. The half orcs are the worshippers of Talos who kind of already lived in this area. The orcs are kind of the bigger, like, more Lord of the Rings style orcs that moved northward from their previous lair that they were pushed out mm. of uh, from Ice Spire. 
Correct. But they're not as strong as the, the half orcs are. Right. Um, but I'm going to put myself like yeah, sure. here then. And then I'm going to use uh, Thunderclap. Uh, Le- so, level three. Okay. I think Thunderclap is a 10 foot, 15 foot cube outside of your, like centered on yourself. So you actually want to hit oh, anybody with Thunderclap from here. Yeah, if you want to use Thunderclap most effectively, if you were there, what I'd recommend, if you were, like, here, right there. I'd recommend getting, like, in the middle of them. Because uh, it's, a, it's a, like, a cube coming ball. out of yourself. I see. I'm just scared to be by myself out there. Um, yeah, stay, yeah, stay close to us. Yeah, I'm going to stay inside. And then... I'll use that neck next round, potentially. Um, I'm just going to hit on my sword again. Okay. Go ahead and roll to hit for me. All right. We are 16. Uh, that hits. Okay. Then we are 10. All right. 10 points of damage to him. He is looking pretty beaten up, but still standing. Yeah. Uh, okay, Great. one of the other orcs turn. He's kind of on the bottom. He runs through. Um, I'll just say he now comes into contact with Corwin, the kind of old guard of this area, and tries to hit him with his axe. He misses. Thank God for Corwin. Uh, Flux, it's <laughs> your turn. Cool. I'm going to do the same thing. I want to cast Thunderous Smite on A1 with my longsword. Uh, okay. Cool. You've got Thunderous Smart on. I'm going to do that. Uh, just so you know, too, you don't officially have to cast it until you know it hits. Yeah. Granted, it'll stay on yeah. until you do hit, but if you don't want it to like take up a spell slot until you know, you don't have to. Just so you know. Oh, nice. All right, cool. So I roll a 25 for my hit. That definitely hits. And then the damage from the sword itself is 5. Okay. Uh, but then with the spell, uh, it's gonna get, hold on, let me roll this bitch. Eleven. Eleven total, so eleven plus five? Yeah. Alright, so you just, as you land through this, dude, and like the sound wave of this thunderous smite just kind of splits this creature's just body like halfway down the middle. Uh, and he crumples to the floor dead. Um, it's going to be another orc's turn. Seeing this, he's just going to charge in and go for Falcon. Who he misses. Going to be another orc who will finally get the wall and he can only go about here. But then he'll chuck a javelin. He'll throw that at Torin. He rolls a natural 20. Sorry, Torin. That's going to suck. Um, Gosh, that sucks. You take 12 points of damage. <clears throat> Alright. Now what I'm doing next turn. Okay, that'll end his turn. I guess I'll have 12 points left. We're good. We Zendry, good. that brings us back to you. Alright. So, what do I do with my meow meow? <laughs> Uh, oh, with your, your okay. First of all, we should definitely call it your meow meow because you're a cat. Uh, that's a million percent what your hammer should be called. Your spiritual weapon from now on is your meow meow. Uh, so you yes. can you can choose to move it. If you look at the spell, um, where are you, Zendri? Where are you? And just so I know, did you cast it at, at second level, at third level? Um. So where I'm looking it at it, it doesn't have like levels. I'm just under bonus actions. Okay, sure. So if you actually look at your spell list, it's either one. You can, if you look at it in your spell list, basically the difference is it will do, I think it just does more damage. Let me check. One. Oh, honestly, actually it wouldn't make a difference if you do anything at third level, so I wouldn't waste it. Just do it at second. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just do it at second. So um, you can move it. Um, how far can you move it? You can move it up to 20 feet. And then it flies I, back so to you. I, no, it stays in that area. Oh. <laughs> so if I move it 20 feet, what does that look like? Uh, 20 feet from here. 
get to A1? 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, well, A1 is dead, but yes, it would be in range of A1. Oh, A1's dead? If it was here, 5, So then, 10, if I move, does it just float around with me? Pretty much. Um, you can kind of choose it to kind of stay with you. You could get it over here and be in range of this orc if you wanted to try to take a crack at it. Yeah, let's try and take a crack at it. Cool. Um, so you just roll, like, if you look next to it, it's got, like, a little hit button. If you just hit that plus five, yeah. tell me what you get. Uh, 25. That definitely hits, so now roll the damage one. Ten. Ten, nice. All right. Ten points of damage with your meow meow. So this dude's looking pretty beaten up. Uh, that was your bonus action. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do? You still have your full action if you'd like. Uh... Sick. I like this bonus action stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Am I... Can you move me a little bit closer and I'm just going to try and hit him with my crossbow again. Are, are you yeah, trying to go for that same one? Yeah. Okay, cool. Go ahead and roll to hit with your crossbow. Um... 16. That definitely hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Three. <laughs> cool. Uh, so you um, you kind of like <clears throat> hit this dude with your crossbow and your meow meow just kind of like in your brain you're kind of seeing this weird combo and it just kind of like hits the orc right in the face like right in the head and the meow meow just <clears throat> pushes the arrow right through the rest of its head as this thing crumples to the ground dead. Yeah. Uh, so another orc did. Meow meow cat. Meow meow cat. Does it sit around you? Uh, Seduceus, your turn again, sir. Uh, your crowd of madness has Dang. crumpled as it's uh, killed the creature. Yeah, kind of wasted. <laughs> um, Got to coordinate with your teammates. Got to coordinate with your teammates. Oh my god! Clearly, okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. I want to get to here, and then I'm gonna I move myself over there, and then I'm gonna do um, careless whispers uh, to number three. Uh, okay, sure. Go ahead and roll your dissonant whispers. <laughs> Hit him with it. Do, 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 do. I, can, I can do it in the chat. I don't have to, do, or can I just do the little dicey thing? Either on the one, whichever here. you prefer. I'm fine with it. Good dicey, bro. Yeah, the dicey thing is way easier. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I got nine. Uh, that misses. Oh wait, dissonant whispers isn't a you. It's me. What's the DC? 14? Wisdom? 14. Is it a wisdom? Yep. Yep, wisdom. Uh, he fails, so he takes 9 points of damage from Careless Whisper. And which one were you going for against Seducius? 03? Uh, 03, yep. Okay. Um, he's still standing, but bloodied as you kind of see some blood start to come out of his giant orc ears. Uh, Celeste, yeah, uh, that brings uh, remind me who, who, who has taken damage besides um, Torin. Torin has taken damage... Zendry, I think, has taken a little bit. No, I just haven't reset you. I think just Torin and Falcon. Sure. Maybe time to get some bonus points on, on old Falcon, you know? Although he doesn't seem phased at all. <laughs> I, no, he's fine without me. <laughs> he's fine. Um, yeah, I'll do... Torin took a lot, right? I'm uh, done with 12. Tor Torrin's, yeah, Torrin's pretty beaten up. Yeah, I'll do uh, my bonus action, the Mantle of Inspiration for Torrin uh, to give him eight temporary hit points. Mm -hmm. Mantle of Inspiration eight. you can put on three people as well. And yeah, I mean, no one else really took um, hit points. So temporary oh. temporary hit points, though, always stack. So that's kind of the nice thing about temporary hit points. It like allows you to go higher than your actual hit point total. Just oh, give it shit. to people no matter what. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so I'll do Torin, and then you said Zendry took some damage. Uh, I th I think I'm wrong yeah. on that. I think I just didn't refresh her. So no one, but okay. Well, that's fine. I'll give it to I'll give it to my ladies, but and Torin. Um. Okay. Cool. So uh, Flux and Zendry and Torin, you have eight more temporary hit points added to it. Um, if you'd also like, you can use this moment to just move up to 30 feet or up to your movement in any direction without taking an attack of opportunity if you'd like as well. Yeah. If you want to move somewhere. Uh, and then Seducius, I think that's everything on your turn, right? Do you want to move or anything? No, that's it for me. Cool. Well, can I move too? Well, how do you I move? can't move anymore, right? No, yeah, you can. You haven't like, moved at all this turn. We can all move because of that. Oh well, uh, mantle of oh, yeah. mantle of inspiration is special because it lets others move out of turn as a reaction, and they can oh. move without attack without getting attacked by other enemies, um, where they normally wouldn't. Right? You normally get an attack of opportunity. For you, Seducius, though, you haven't you haven't moved this turn. You just get your normal movement, and you're not near anything that would get an attack of opportunity. So. If you wanted to yeah, move into range okay. of someone else, you could. Or if you wanted to move to a different area, you could. Yeah, okay. Then I will actually move <laughs> myself real quick. Mm -hmm. Who's purple? Who is making, who is making circles? <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's... I think it's... Uh, uh, I think it's Nicole. No! Is it... No. I can't move my guy. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's Trent. That's fine. I believe it was uh, I'm green, dude. I'm green, dude. I can't... I can't, I I can't move my idea. Switch your switch your yeah, button, and then make sure I you did. tap on your dude first. I, I tried to do that. Because it it's moved. his website's not <laughs> secure for uh, Google Chrome. <laughs> I doubt that's the reason. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't move. I can't move. All right, where, yeah, do can't move where do you want him to go? Where do you want him to go? Seducius first. Where do you want him? Like, to go? in that in that square, kind of like right below that like tower looking thing. Here. Yeah. Right okay. there. Yep. Uh, Torin, do you want to move somewhere? Yeah, move me um, closer to O3. You want to be like right after yeah, the business? Too. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I'm gonna go. Yeah. Zendry, yeah. do you want to move anywhere? Uh, can you put me in the area below Torin? How much health did we gain there again? Eight. 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 Okay. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Diana's feisty yeah. tonight. I like Diana when she's in the chat. Uh, how, how far can I move here? You can move 30 feet. Like extra? No, you don't get oh, any extra because you didn't get the mantle. Only the other three did. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I guess I'll wait till it's... Is it my turn now? Are it is your turn. To go? It is your turn. Okay, perfect. Well, there we go. All right. Well, I'm going to um, do a little firebolt action. Okay. But I'm going to move a little bit closer here. Make, uh, like right about here. Can't see. Does that say 30 feet? Uh, 20, uh, that's a close enough. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me roll the hit here. <laughs> and I have plus six. So I rolled 18. Oh, uh, yeah. That hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. Perfect. Which is 2d10. Uh, nine. All right. So O three just <laughs> takes it right in the face. Uh, his head is like his face isn't even there anymore. It just like burns off as it's like a sack of melted skin. Uh, <laughs> sack right. of melted skin. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, all right. O four. Scrotum face. Scrotum yeah. face. Um, yeah, seeing scrotum face. his buddies on the inside get <clears throat> just wrecked. Uh, he is going to use his action to flee and GTFO. Can he get off the map? He can. So he's off the map. Uh, the others are going to follow suit and try to haul ass away. That's going to bring us to Falcon, who is not going to let that happen. So he's going to move his full action. He can only hit... We need to catch at least one of them. Uh, he can only hit this one. So he is going to just try and shoot him with his arrow twice. So he first one, he misses. Second one, he hits. Uh, how much do we do damage fucking on that? In his knee. Uh, he is almost dead. Ticks an arrow in the knee. 
Uh, that'll end his turn. That's going to be. Who's almost dead, Falcon? Uh, no, no, no. The the orc that he no, shot. No, Um But he is going to use his full action, and he will also flee. Did you hear how, did you hear how excited he was? <laughs> he was. Yeah. He's, he's dead. Falcon's dead. Uh, these orcs. Um, let's see if they stay or not. They stay. All right. So he's going to try to run through. He's currently fighting Corwin, so he's going to try to kill Corwin again. Uh, he misses. Man, Corwin is lucky, lucky. Uh, this one on the outside doesn't think it's worth it because he sees they're losing. And he will also just flee southwardly and use his full action to do so. Doesn't quite escape. Uh, that'll bring us back to Torn. I'm going to transition into an animal. Uh, let's do... Let's see here. I'm going to do a dire wolf. That think... seems to be like the badass one. Okay. It's got a lot of health. All right, so I'm going to do a shapeshift into that bad boy. Cool, cool. Okay, you're a dire wolf. Dire wolf now. Great. Where's the one that, that Falcon hit? Where's that guy? He took. It was his turn right after he got hit and he just fled. Oh, even with an arrow in his Why? That's not mechanically how that works. Flavor is one thing, mechanics are another. Uh, because they haven't all fled. Oh, gotcha. There are some to the south that are fighting Corwin, the old guard. Uh, uh, who has uh, been dodging everything. Uh, what do you want to do as a dire wolf? Uh, I'm going to do the melee attack, the bite. Everything around you is dead. Hit. So who are you trying to hit? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, I thought it was next to someone that was alive still. So hold on, let me see where I'm at. Now there are there are oh, orcs to the down. south. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Like around the lodge. Move, move to O three. You're on O three. First and O three is dead. Oh wait, hold on. My thing is like <laughs> delayed then. Oh, there it goes. Sorry, my thing was delayed. That's because you're, you're using Google Chrome. I know. Yeah, what are you using Google Chrome, bro? <laughs> I because I'm on my PC. Um, well, for, that, for the map part. Um, <laughs> it works better up there. Would you use Internet Explorer, bro? <laughs> yeah, Internet Explorer. That's, yeah. Little IE 10, or bro. I'm it, using Microsoft Edge, yeah. bro. Yeah, seriously, dude. Get down on Safari. Um, what was the one Never mind. Was I'm going to... Opera Mini or something? <laughs> oh, Opera, dude. No, Opera <laughs> can only load, like, five websites, dude. <laughs> like, so bad. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just move my guy first because I can't attack anyone. That's yeah. pointless. So you can use your full action if, if you want to to double your speed since you're not attacking anything okay. anyway. So I might, okay. Yeah, that gets you about Makes there. Sense. There, okay. I'll just do that then. Sorry, I didn't realize that guy was dead. Um, also, just so you know, um, I'm going to put this out there in the world. So you were here. You can go through the door. It's not locked. And get oh. here. Um... Sure, yeah, I'll just do that. It's fine. I didn't realize that was a room. There's a door there. Yeah, yeah no worries. Okay. Uh, all right, so that'll end your turn, I'm assuming, because you used your bonus action and your movement. Yep. Um, that's going to bring us back to this dude, who's also going to try and kill Corwin. Man, they miss us. Corwin is the luckiest bastard ever. Flux, it is your turn. They've all like, rolled less <laughs> uh, than 10. All right, I'm going to follow uh, Torin. Down that pathway to get to those homies. Cool. All right. Anything else you want to do on your turn? Let me see. I have a bonus action, and I want to know if I'm close enough for this shit. Um. So I have Channel Divinity Valve Emity, uh-huh. and it uh, I can use it to uh, choose a creature within ten feet. I don't. I'm not within ten feet of these. Right. You're also inside the building, so you can't see them anymore. Dope, you're right. I can't see shit. So you never just mind. know they're in that general area because Corwin's been screaming. Sweet. Okay, never mind. Okay. Um, Zendry, it's your turn. What is the F1? That's Falcon. Okay. Attack it. <laughs> Kill him. Do it. Kill Falcon. Can Kill I put a crown of madness on Falcon? You could. <laughs> <laughs> he would just attack you. Um, I'm just going to follow suit. Uh, okay. Get behind or get me 
Uh, so you can use your full plus. action if you'd like to get that way. You can get almost to the door here. Yes. We'll say your meow meow follows you. Where is the door um, down there? Uh, it's that white thing to the left of them. Oh, gotcha. Um, okay, that'll end your turn. Seducius, it's your turn. Um, yeah, I'm going to follow the group and go down there. You can get here. Yep, there uh, Celeste, it's your turn. Well, shoot. I guess I'll just go as far as I can. So if you use your full action for movement, you can use dash and you can go 60 feet. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like you, you have like secondary actions you can do. Um, one is called dash, which basically means instead of like attacking, you just use your full turn to just go as far as you can, which will double your speed. You just can't do Not anything it. else. I'm trying to see, oops, hang on. If it, when you like drag it with your finger, it's hard to see. Okay, there we go. So 60 feet. Yeah. Uh, so right there. Outside the building, so I'll say you get there. Oh. Okay. Um, um, but that's my full actions, right? That's correct. it. Yeah. If you have any bonus actions, okay. you can use them, but you can't. You don't have another action in your repertoire. Okay. Yep. That's it. Cool. Um, so that's gonna bring us to 04, um, who I think is already flipped. Am I wrong? I think that. Where are you, 04? 04. Where'd you go? I think he got off the map. Yeah, I think he ran away. Uh, okay, so he fled. 05 is gone. I remember that one. Falcon. What does Falcon want to do? Does he want to try to pursue the orcs or does he want to kill the ones? He wants to kill them. He's trying to save. Yeah, he's going to try and save Corwin. So he's actually going to go around because he sees you guys all running there. So that'll bring us to O2, who's fleeing. O7, who's down there. Falcon just think he's sick, dude. He can go by himself, dude. Jesus Christ. He... Corwin is the luckiest random person ever. Um, O6 is going to flee. He's off the map now, so he's gone. Uh, which I think brings us back to Torin. All right. Go beans. Let's see. Here. Um, wait, that is a weird angle. That does not make any sense. What's that? Does that count? It says 30 feet from here. Uh, I'm going at like this. So here, let's do this first. Diagonals. Let's get you out of the building. And okay, then and then go 15. To go, okay. That would get you 30. If you okay, want to use the rest sense. of your turn, you could then get to him, but you wouldn't be able to attack at that point unless you have a bonus action. Okay, and I don't think I have a attack that goes that far. Let's see. Uh, actually, let's do this. I'm going to summon a spiritual beast. I don't or think you can because you're still in dire wolf form. Oh, you're right, you're right. Oh, never mind, never mind. Okay, I'm just going to... Uh, I want to go to, like, here. Okay. Like, just kind of line up. I'm going to line up. I'm not going to get too close. Uh, all right, that'll bring us to the other one. Seeing you come there, he sees you as a scarier combatant than Corwin. So he will try and confront you. He's going to hit you with his axe. He misses. These orcs just suck. Um, Flux, it's your turn. All right, I'm going to do the same thing as Torin. I'm going to use my... <laughs> okay, so that, we'll call that about 30 feet, something like that. Cool. All right, and then I can I can use my whole turn to get closer, yeah. Yes. Well, I'm gonna go. Oh. <laughs> right over there. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. All right. Uh, anything else on your turn? Mm -mm. Awesome. All right. That'll bring us to Zendry. <laughs> That is just <laughs> absolute most. Doing the absolute most. Uh, <laughs> okay. I would like to go outside, please. Uh, I, <laughs> Since I can't. Yeah, you can go outside. I would like to go outside, please. I would like to go outside, please. Uh, so you can get outside pretty easily. 
Uh, you can get there with your full movement. I'll say your dude follows you. <laughs> okay, so help, help me understand my bonus action. So it just follows me everywhere and I can just use it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Guys. So, like, you can actually use your bonus action to move it separately from you, wherever it is. Um, I'm, I, I didn't look through the whole spell, so I'm maybe doing this wrong, but we can figure that out later. I don't know if it actually follows you or stays put, uh, but I'm just allowing it to follow you as you're moving around. Um, so, it's as a bonus action on your turn, you can move the weapon up to 20 feet and repeat the attack against the creature within five feet of it. Yeah. So if you wanted to, you can move it 20 feet, which would be 5, 10, 15. That would hit both one or this one. You could really choose either. You'd have the space. So what? Get near 08? Mm-hmm. If you <laughs> yeah. wanted to do that with your with your meow meow. I do. Yes, put my meow meow near 08. Go ahead and roll to hit with your meow meow. Meow meow. <laughs> 16. Uh, that hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. Four. Uh, awesome. All right. Four points of damage to this dude. Not too hard of a hit, but, you know, it's something. Something extra. All right. Anything Bring else on your turn? Can I get close enough to him to hit him with my uh, mace? Um, you can get close enough to hit him, but you can't hit him this turn. You basically used all your movement to get out of the building. Um, which would really so put you about right here, but you could you could use your crossbow. Let's do it. All right, yeah. Try. Go ahead and uh, roll to hit with your crossbow. Ten. Uh, that misses. <clears throat> Darn it! It is not. You need to practice with. Well. You need to practice with that thing. <laughs> I clearly do. To hit or miss. Uh, all right, so that'll end your turn. Seducius, it brings it back to you. I'm going to get as far as I can outside to the battle. I think it's going to probably take my whole turn just to get outside. Uh, yeah, so outside you can get there. That gives you 30 feet. Do you want to go somewhere else? Or do you want to do anything else with your turn? Um, that hasn't used uh, all of your I mean, I don't have. I mean, I don't have enough for like a spell or anything, do I? Uh, I don't know. Do you have any spells that would hit at range? I think Dissonant Whisper would hit. You probably have a few others. Yeah. Um, let's see. <laughs> Um, Dissonant Whisper. No, you're right. Hits. It would actually. Yeah. Um, you could do Bane if you want yeah. to try to do some dispu- debuffs. You've got some choices. Shatter. You've got some choices. Yeah, I'll do Dissonant Whispers to <laughs> that one right in front of Tor. Cool. Right. He rolled a natural one. He fails. Go ahead and roll your damage. <laughs> Lit. Sucker. I've not been rolling well in this, this game. Mm-hmm. I got 17. All right. Wow. Crushed him. 17? What level did you roll that at? Oh, that was level two. Sorry. I don't, I don't want to do level two. I want to do level one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that. I was like, fuck. Uh, I got 13 on level one, though. All right. Still good. You killed this thing. Yeah. Just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sexy Saxman was not good to this orc. Uh, I assume that ends your turn, unless you want to do a bonus action or anything. Nah, uh, no, I'm I'm good right now. Celeste, that brings us to you, sir. One orc in the space left. All right, it's the number seven, right? Zero seven, that one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, let me see something. So, and the only way out of this building is that white door on the left there correct yep unless you want to okay. double back or something no no no. so if i, I want to do something here um okay i think i know what i want to do all right if i move like right out here right that's 10 feet and then here does that does that work right 30 feet yep yep 10 10 10 okay all what right is, I wanna, what are those things like uh, things on the map. It's like a it's like a little fence or something, right? Is that what that is? Yeah, right basically here? they're they're like little um posts and stuff. Um they're used like you as pens for animals, that kind of stuff. But you can you can scale them oh. pretty easily. They're not tall. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. cool. All right. I wanna uh 
shoot this guy with a web so that hopefully we can kind of hold him down and maybe get some information from him. Yeah, for sure. Um, what's the DC on web, or do you have to roll to hit on that? Let me check it. Uh, it's a dexterity 14. Cool. All right, dex 14. Come on. 11 plus. Let's see what his bonus is before you get your hopes up. No, 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 no. Uh, not enough. He fails. <laughs> he rolled Woo. a 13 with his right. bonus. <laughs> so is he stuck? Perfect. Is that what happens? Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's restrained. He's stuck. He can't move. Perfect. Awesome. So now, uh, yeah, now we just got to figure out if, like how we can communicate with him. <laughs> That's the hard part. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, because uh, nobody nobody speaks orc, right? We figured that out already. Correct. No one speaks orc. Although, isn't Falcon with us still? Yeah, Falcon yeah. Check, check, check Falcon. Yeah, right. can we call him over and tell him to come and 100 communicate with us? Uh, so okay, let me stop Let's the, do that. the thing real quick. Falcon comes over, starts to kind of he's running out as you kind of have him in the webs. And he says, "Kill that fucking thing." Why? We need you to speak to him. Yeah, you need me to speak to him. You think somehow I'm able to speak to this thing? Can't you speak orc? Uh, I don't know. Let me look. Hold on one second. Let's <laughs> try to get that real bad. <laughs> Shit. Uh, sorry, sorry, friends. I, I don't know how to speak these uh these animals' language. Trash. What? Okay, I thought he could. Um, <laughs> no, sir. What what gave me the impression oh, that I could talk to these things? I I thought you the way you kind of made it seem like you have yeah. all this knowledge on them, dude. Like, come on. How yeah. do you communicate with these fools? Yeah. yeah, and you gave us a hard time for not talking to them either. <laughs> uh, I mean, some of them actually speak common. It's not impossible. Have you tried oh. just asking them questions? <laughs> I guess we haven't. <laughs> Mr. O7. Y'all are real dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the worst of the bunch was Pretty Boy over there with the cape, but... <laughs> 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 like a uh, swear to God, right, some um, so, some of y'all probably eat your Skittles with M and M's or some bullshit. Ew. Oh my God! Wait, there's Skittles and M and M's in this world. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> it's our world. We do it. Cool. Falcon, Falcon just broke the fourth wall. <laughs> <laughs> eat the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I ask him what you ask him because I'm about to kill this thing. You try to kill my friends, try to rip, break into my home. I'm not going to just stand by that. So if you're trying to do something, you should hurry this along. Perfect. Uh, hey, Orc, do you can you understand us? <laughs> Roll a persuasion hey, check. Roll a persuasion check, Celeste. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey. Yes. These webs are gross. <laughs> Kill me or let me go. Well, we will let you go once we get the information that we need. I'm not smart. I have no information. <laughs> well, we're not really sure that's true. Uh, what is it that brought you here? Uh, Talos worshiper said you were here you burned down last home we need new home may as well come here oh your home was the house with the big tree that's where we were trying to live thanks by the way well, why why are you trying to go someplace else? Did you uh, did the dragon destroy your home? Yes. Oh, then how long ago was that? Uh, maybe you can see him kind of like count on his like fingers. <laughs> He's not doing this very well. I don't know. Maybe maybe a month. Okay. Uh, did you guys try and fight the dragon? No, it's. It's a dragon. <laughs> he like looks at you, just like fairy. Like, who fights a dragon? <laughs> well, 
<laughs> uh, if you guys have any questions you want to ask him, <laughs> what is the information we're trying to find out? <laughs> Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Am okay. I still choppy, by the way? Uh, I haven't nobody, asked. Uh, yeah, it's you. Yeah, but, it, 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 yeah, but it's, yeah. Working with, it's working with your character. It's a new character. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. it's a character. <laughs> Even better. I guess we're just trying to find out where the dragon is, but if he doesn't seem like he knows, then I don't know if there's anything else to find out. Freaking. Yeah. Like, well, I guess we can... I, you I, might, like, it, do you know where the dragon is? Oh... Uh. I don't know where he is now. I know where I came from and where he was. Where was that? Where he came from. Uh, I don't know what it was called, but it was by Big Mountain with snow. You probably wouldn't know the name of it in Orc. Got it, okay. But uh, I can... How, how many other Orcs are out there? I, I don't know. I don't know the numbers. We used to number in the hundreds, but the dragon ate a lot. Many of you down here killed a lot. So I don't know how many of us are left. The Anchorites of Talo said they would help us, but most of them have just gotten us killed. Gosh, no. You put the needle in your arm or in your butt. Like... I don't know what that means. But you shouldn't put needles in your body unless it's a good thing. Oh, yeah. good. Hey, I don't know where your steroids go. Do you think I have a question? Could, uh, oh, go ahead. I was. Uh, do you think you could uh, maybe show us the way where the dragon was? Uh, what's, in it, the what's, it? what's in it for me? Uh, when well, you get to live. You live. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. <laughs> I don't like dying, so. <laughs> Perfect. Well, as long as you don't, uh, as long as you don't try and trick us, and you actually show us the way, we'll let you live. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think I could trick you. You seem pretty, pretty smart. So. Okay, but here's here's our only problem though, is that we still have to get gear. So how are we gonna bring a freaking orc in the Fandolin when we're trying to buy gear? Oh, I'm not going there. I don't know if that's what you thought that I meant, but I'm not going that way. I could maybe put her on your map or something. No, but I'm not going back to a fucking dragon. I don't. Could we have a, a, could we have a couple of us stay behind with uh, with the orc and the rest of us go and buy the gear and then come back? I think he just wants to show us on the map. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to Fandolin. I'm not I'm not going anywhere else. Probably they'd probably just kill me anyway. So yeah, I just wonder if it might be right. it might be beneficial for us to to bring him so because he might know some of the the rough areas since that's where he's actually from. I mean, I'd really, I'd really okay, rather I also... not go, so <laughs> maybe I won't tell you after all. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. I have, all right, here's my question. The dragon ate your family and friends. Yes. We we want to kill the dragon. Okay, sounds good. So. I get to go now? If we, not yet, if we let you live, if we let you live. Uh-huh. Can you go back to your other followers of Talos and tell them to not hurt us because we are trying to kill the dragon, which will help you? Uh, I was just about to ask him that. Oh my! Roll God. a persuasion check. And remember, Seducius, I think you still have inspiration from last time. I don't think any, any of you have used your inspiration, by the way. What's that? You also have yeah, lucky Seducius as well, in case you want to re-roll stuff. Remind us what the inspiration is. Inspiration is basically lets you get advantage on anything. Just one time. Oh. Now's the time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I. based upon this question, I will use a lucky and roll again, because I would like to try and persuade him to do this okay. as much as possible. Yeah, so go ahead and re-roll. Okay. Mm. Uh, I mean, I could try, but... I don't know if they'll listen to me. I'm not anyone important. <laughs> just, you know, just me. Just Groosh. Regular old Groosh. 
<laughs> can you take us? Can you take us to your people, and maybe we can ask them. Um, I don't know of uh, any more of the anchorites. They kind of uh, come to us, so I don't know where they're located. But a few of my brethren are at a shrine not too far outside of the woods. I could take you there, but um, I don't know. Mm. I can't. I can't say they would not attack you. But I could try, I guess, if it meant you not killing me right now. Oh, we were going to check out the shrine anyway, so we would love to follow you there. And I'm going to leave it up to you to have your friends not attack us, or we'll have to slay them in front of you. Uh, which I'd rather not do. I'd rather not do that. Okay. I guess I could do that. See how it goes. Okay. Lead the way, my friend. Okay. So he, uh, he's still in webs. Are you, like, cutting him out of these things? Yeah, we'll have to, yeah, we'll have to. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll have to use our dagger and just <laughs> slice so him out. Cut him out of the webs. He kind of gets free. And he's like, oh, okay, I guess I'll um, just show you how to get to the shrine. That's all you want me to do? And to try and ask your friends to not attack us while we try and slay the dragon, which will help all of us. Okay, I'll do that then. Um, so while this is happening, Falcon is just kind of appalled that you're talking to an orc. He is not a fan of these creatures, like these creatures at all. Um, he just told us to talk to him. Yeah. <laughs> he's not. He's not a fan of you. Not just like murdering him. Still on it. Uh, so uh, Falcon. Falcon kind of like looks over at the group and kind of shares with you. He says, uh, "All right, well, I guess y'all are be going then." Um, kind of like looks over at his hands. He's like, "Pell, come over in a rush and gets a sack from Rush as well." This is what I owe you, or whatever. And he hands you a sack, and inside is 150 gold pieces for what you did with the orcs at the Woodland Manse so that you guys can distribute amongst yourselves if you like. Um, other than that, I really um, not sure I agree with this. These creatures are not um, well. First of all, they're not very friendly. Second of all, they're not to be trusted. I, I don't think I don't think you guys are thinking this through. Thinking this thing is going to go talk to his buddies and and somehow save your skin that's a real dumb idea um but i guess a few less adventures in the world don't mean nothing to me i'll just uh come get this gold later on you're welcome for helping you save your place falcon and, and either way we're either gonna figure it out or we'll kill him if you want to join us you can otherwise sit tight in your room mm. not sure if you guys are gonna be welcome here but uh have a good and and uh, hopefully won't see you around. Be seeing you, Falcon. Be seeing you. Probably not. <laughs> Just kind of like ushers you out. <laughs> uh, so you guys leave. Least um, favorite character in this whole thing <laughs> is Falcon. Uh, um, so you, uh, you do, uh, I'm assuming you're leaving? I, I am leaving. For <laughs> And are you heading towards the shrine? Are you heading to Fandolin? Where are you, uh, you guys are trying to go? We're going to follow this orc to the shrine. Okay. Uh, awesome. So you um, put it on the map. So you, you go in that direction. The shrine is probably a good like eight hour trek away, I would imagine. Let me just look at that real quick. Five, ten. Yeah, eh, you can get there in a day. It's not you guys got woken up pretty early. You can probably get to the shrine um, at a little in the in the afternoon, right before evening. So let's call it like three o'clock, four o'clock, because um, this battle happened like really early in the morning, five a.m., six a.m. Um, ish. Um, so you, you get there in the afternoon. The orc is kind of going along the way. Do you guys want to ask anything of the orc on the way? Or are you just like trying to get down to business? Hmm. Um, we're all down to business, dude. <laughs> well, I guess, like, like what, is there anything we should expect when we get to this shrine? Like, what's the shrine like? Uh, well, it's, it's kind of a big, broken down building. It looks like it was maybe a church. There's a big, shiny bell. Um, some ogres came and decided they wanted to stay with us for a while, so. We've been using them to help run security. 
Uh, they're not very friendly, but they're dumb, so they listen. You know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if they'll listen to me. Maybe the orcs will. But I can try my best, I guess, since you guys are killing me. Have you fought the dragon before? No, I've just a, seen it. I just saw it. He's a he's he didn't look like he was the biggest dragon, looked kind of like a young one. But uh I mean I wasn't really paying that close attention when he was biting my friend's heads off, so thanks for that memory. <laughs> have you have you fought other dragons in the past? No, who the fuck fights a dragon? You guys are nuts. I mean we're going to I know, that's a dumb idea. Why? <laughs> so we don't all die. <laughs> you could leave. And go somewhere <laughs> else. Sold. That's what we did. <laughs> yeah. How's that working out for you? <laughs> it was fine until you fuckers came along. <laughs> you think this is funny? Uh, uh, yeah. I guess it's a little funny. <laughs> I saw I saw my friend Benji. He was fucking running with one leg. It was just good for a little bit. You know, orcs are violent, but it's just it's not the best sometimes. So. Hey, what's the deal with you guys shape shifting from boars? I'm just kind of curious. Oh, we can't do that. The orcs aren't the ones who are doing it. Those are those half orcs. They uh, those talus worshippers have some. Weird special abilities, I guess they get from their god, but mm. that's not a thing we do. Hmm. So them thing. I, I think my friend Seduce, I think my friend Seduce is here is wondering, is a half orc made with a, a male orc or a female orc? Either. I don't, I, I, I don't know if I should be the one telling you this. I mean, you look like you're something kind of mixed too with your horns and tail and stuff. But when a when a when a man thing. And a woman thing really love each other. Sometimes they put things in things and other things come out. So at least that's what my pop told me. So I don't know how more into detail of this you want me to go, but that's how that happens. Okay. Huh? So. I mean, orcs like. Medium sword, long sword, extra long sword. I'm just kind of curious. Oh my what's going god! On right <laughs> kind of depends on the orc, you know. I mean, we all kind of looks down. All right. I always thought I was kind of okay, you know. I'm just, you know, more than average, I hope. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I kind of like you. I hope we don't have to kill you. <laughs> yeah, if you could not kill me, I'd really appreciate that. Just uh, you know, keep a good one out for Groosh. Grush is your guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh man, Grush, you you are our guy right now, Grush. That's right. I have a good feeling about this. Yeah, try not to a kill me, feeling. please. I'm a little scared when I talk to my uh, my brothers and sisters. I don't know if they're gonna take this well. We're not one for alliances, so is there anything maybe I should tell them on your behalf, like uh? Bargaining chip or something? I'm a little scared of those ogres. You guys got anything to I offer mean, them? Yeah, well, I think, um, you know, as soon as we defeat the dragon, we'll let you uh, pick some land that you want to be able to go back and you know, live there in safety. Uh, I mean, that's really nice, but um, how do I put this? Uh, orcs. Orcs are more of a instant gratification kind of people. So, you know, we're not really going to deal with reason here. You probably need to, like, bring something to the actual table. Hmm. Money's good. I, I like mean, money. They probably like money. You guys have hmm. money? <laughs> I guess we can give him. We do have. We, we, we can give him a little bit. And give them crap. <laughs> yeah, that or that or if we have some old weapons that we're not using, maybe they could use some weapons. Uh, we've got a lot of weapons. We're Don't pretty good them. on the weapons. Yeah, I'm not trying to arm these guys even more than what they've got. Mm -hmm. 
Um, as you guys are walking, by out. the way, you start to notice that you kind of like have come out of the woods um, and started to clear through, and you've gone back through Conaberry, the kind of now desolate town. And you're walking a little bit south, and you're getting a little bit, you know, a few miles kind of outside of Conaberry, and you do see off in the distance um, that there is a um, building. It's a little hard to make out at this distance, but it does seem to be like a church-type building with a bit of a bell tower, although it's a little bit crumpled and broken. There's the shrine, by the way. We're getting pretty close. It's, um, I should warn you, there's probably a lookout, so if we're trying to sneak in, we should probably wait till nightfall. I don't know what your game plan here is. So, uh, I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we just walk right in with, uh, was Groosh? Groosh, yeah, G R. Uh, how do I spell uh, my name? Yeah. Um, it's the one that looked like uh, circles. Oh, Oosh, Oosh, G R Oosh. Groosh. Um, yeah, I think we should definitely go in there with them. I don't want them to just go in there and then never come back out. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure if they see you, they're probably going to want to kill you, so. Even if they see you, they're going to want to kill us. I don't know if you quite understand how orcs work. We're not like a lovey-dovey family kind of situation. So, just food for thought. Well, <clears throat> I guess whatever our choice is, we risk it or just send Grush in and hope he comes out friendly, and if they don't, then we fight. Again, I'm totally okay to just tell you on the map because uh, this seems a little stupid to me. I don't know if you uh, can kind of tell I'm uh, not much of a talker, so just put it out there. Grush, we've we've done stupider things for less, so I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it up to you. I'll give you a life. better shot, Get I your guess. Life yeah, to go talk to your. Us. Hey, hey, hey Grush, I think if you can uh, if you can convince him of this, I think you got about ten gold pieces coming your way. Okay, that's not that much, but sure. Uh, it's more than we have now. It's not, but it's fine. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll try my best. I I I I recommend you just uh, stay over here and maybe stay out of sight. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Uh, so he kind of saunters off. He's, he's kind of out of sight now. You can just see him a little bit. Um, I would like everyone to roll a perception check to see what we see. Cause you're, you're still maybe like not quite a quarter mile out, but you're, you're, you're far away from this building. You can just barely see shapes. Okay. So definitely for Celeste, definitely for Torn. Um, you guys see, you two see. Um, Flux, if you have one too, let me know. I rolled a seven. Okay, so no. Yeah, so for Torn and Celeste, you can kind of see off in the distance the shape of uh, Groosh just kind of walk on to this building. Um, and let me get it on the map just so you can kind of see the layout a little bit. I mean, I will say since you were nice enough to Groosh, you kind of have a lay of the land a bit. Um, and so you can kind of see that there is a, a building with like a giant... Like a, not a giant, but a pretty big outer wall um, that's a thick stone. In many parts, it's kind of crumpled, crumbled though, so you can kind of see through it and into it. There's a taller two-story building um, that seems to be shaped a little bit like a cross. Um, Grush kind of goes in through the main entrance. You kind of see him go through there. Um, and he kind of stays right at like the outside as he's kind of like you hear you – you kind of inaudibly hear yelling as he's talking up to that space. And you just kind of go – uh, and then suddenly you see two shapes, kind of huge shapes, come out of the building. So these don't look like orcs. These are quite a bit bigger. You assume these are probably the ogres that he's talking to. And then a smaller shape kind of walks out as well. Um, and they're kind of talking to each other. You can't see, you can't hear because it's too far. But you can kind of s sort of see a little bit at this distance that they're talking to each other. Uh, here's how we're going to handle this. Just gonna put this on the camera so you guys don't think I cheated. But your boy Groosh rolled a natural 20. 
Um, so you see the ogres step away. Wait, 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 roll the 20 to for a good thing, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, so you, the ogres kind of step away. Um, they kind of look through. And you see Groosh kind of head back to y'all. And he says, well, I guess um, they're... I guess I was a better talker than I thought. They, they said they'll do it. They're willing to at least hear out your side of things. Uh, I can't say what they'll do when you get there, but seems like they're at least willing to talk. Um, so if you guys want to follow me, we can go into that, into it, into the shrine. Yes. Good job. Oh. Good job, Grish. I I'm pretty good about myself. Uh, where are those 10 gold pieces, by the way? Uh, uh, yeah, Seducius is going to grab him out of that bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hand Groosh ten pieces. Okay, just make sure you take away ten pieces from your, from your Meshuggah. I, I didn't even add anything. Well, we can add the rest later. Yeah, so. Um, yeah. so you, so uh, 140 gold pieces basically to, to spread out. Yeah. So you, you do walk into yeah. this space, um, and you kind of notice since you know it's a little eerie but there are orcs on top of the kind of towers on each of the corners looking at you um as you're walking through they have their javelins and axes ready typically they're hostile and not quite kind but grush has gotten them there uh, as you walk closer you you kind of walk through these huge lumbering ogres who have like these giant like just almost like trees in their hands and they're just kind of like Arr, Arr. <laughs> as you're kind of like walking through um, but uh, they do let you through kind of the main gate which is closed by a portcullis on the other side but a huge kind of crumbled area in the southwest of that space lets you in um, one of the other orcs this one seems to be female is kind of standing there waiting for you right out front of the main entrance of the shrine wait what was the last thing you said uh, oh, there's a way? female, a female orc, um, kind of standing outside of the f the main entrance of the. Shrine. I'll get it, Seducius. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah well, it looks like you're basically standing in front of a, in front of a big stone temple that's kind of crossed like a shape. It, it does have a peaked roof, um, but on top of like in the center, you can see there's a belfry, all right on top of it, um, where uh, um, it's a little bit collapsed, <laughs> but you assume that there's probably a bell hanging in there. What the hell is a bell fry? It's like a tower made to hold a bell. Oh, okay. All right. Dope. Um, and the female orc is kind of standing in front. She's, like She's standing right us. in front of the door. Yep. So if you guys... Yeah. Let me see if I can give this. So you guys kind of came in okay. like this way. The orc is right where the arrow is. <laughs> Guess we're doing this. Uh, well, then. No. Uh, hello there. What's your name? Uh, <laughs> what's your name? Seducius. Okay. Have you heard of me? <laughs> I haven't. Should I have? No. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, famous traveler, hunter, lover. All sorts of things. Roll a, just roll a straight Chris. Anyway. Just, just roll a straight Chris to check. One. I just want to see how she responds to this. Okay. Let's go. Oh. Okay. Oh, uh, God. Seducius. Um, I'm, uh, I'm Calic. My name's Calic. Calic. Uh -huh. She's, she's a... probably like four or five inches taller than you and quite a bit earlier two big tusks just like oh, classic seducius uh, and her, sh her <laughs> shoulders are yeah, just, just as wide as grushes just the way he wants them <laughs> i think i've seen her at the gym before actually that's so funny <laughs> uh calic it's it's a pleasure to meet you um i know this is not typical for us to be having a conversation um but uh we encountered Grush, and we're here just for information. We, we we are not here to attack or cause any ill will if we don't have to. Well, I guess that's okay. 
but uh, I feel like I don't know exactly what I could give you. Grush mentioned that you had something to offer us. Well, the only reason I'm we've... listening to you is because he's my cousin. So, well, he's a very good man. Uh, it seems that we have a common enemy that is affecting both of our friends and family in our community. Uh, that that being the white dragon, and uh, so mm -hmm. what we are offering is we we are on a mission to go kill the white dragon, uh, which is kind of our offering to you. If we want to kill that dragon to help protect your family, if and we were hoping that maybe you could give us any information you can about where to find this dragon and maybe maybe how to kill it. Well, if he's where he was before, he's layered an ice spire hold where we came from. That's on on top of the mountain. Mm -hmm. If you know where, uh, I think what you uh, you call it down here is uh, Ice Spire Peak. It's pretty much due south of Ice Spire Peak. South. Let me check mm -hmm. that real quick. Actually, hold on one second. Let me just make sure. Uh, sorry, it's a uh, it's a little northeast of Ice Spire Peak. Same. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a thin viewpoint, but if you uh, you head that way, you're gonna need to be able to scale the mountain. I can show you if you come inside for a bit. I can, I can write it on your map for you. We would we would very much appreciate that. Um, so you do, um, you do get into the shrine, um, and I'll show you what you see. Inside is kind of like the main temple area. Uh, you can kind of see above you that there is a hole that leads up to the belfry that you can kind of see. Can you roll a perception check for me? Um, anyone that walked into the building? Uh, which check? Perception. Perception? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oops. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Gosh, just put heck. <laughs> yeah, I spelled it wrong. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, so Zendri is the only one that can see this, uh, but you know, with her character classes, kind of makes or her um, character races kind of makes sense. Um, the 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 bell Zendri looks like it's copper. But what's odd about that is the copper looks painted. Um, and the um, paint in some areas is just kind of chipping away. And it's very, for a bell, it's like the walls are thin. Usually a bell has like some thick cast walls. These ones are really thin. And you can kind of tell where the paint has chipped away that the, the underlying metal looks to be gold. And in your brain, you're like, if that's gold, that's a fuck ton of money. Mm -hmm. So far, no one else, including the orcs, has seemed to notice this but you. Hmm. Damn. Where is where are we right now? By so the way, you are. I'm gonna just put your. I'm gonna drop yours down just so you can kind of get references. So you guys are inside this space, right in that area, and the hole is like that black square that you can kind of see. It goes straight up to the belfry. It's about a ten foot a 10 foot square hole um, with the bell kind of hanging in the bell fry. Hmm. Yeah. What do you guys think? Think about what? We don't know anything. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's only me. <clears throat> Shit. Mm -hmm. How far away am I from it? Um, am I like right up on it? Mm, you are not. It's like above you by a good way, like 30 feet, because it's kind of a, like a two-story building. You do see that there are windows, though, that kind of lead up, and you feel like if you can get on the roof, you can probably reach it. Can I climb up there? Roll a, um, let's just roll a straight intelligence check for me. And I'll let you do it at advantage because of your character race, because you would, you would know this pretty well. So roll again. Roll it again? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So you feel pretty confident you can get up there. Um, but, you know, you, you know a thing or two about being sneaky as a tabaxi. There's like, you, you saw a good number of, of orcs and the ogres outside. At least two ogres and at least four orcs. And you're not going to be able to get on that roof without them seeing you. So, yeah. And you don't know how they react if you go for it. But you do feel like you can get up there. Hmm. I'll pause for right now, but I'll keep it on my brain. Okay. Um, so as you guys kind of go down, there's a bit of um, uh, inward. Um, and so like the um, the orc leader, Kallik, still kind of walks to southward and kind of gets you through another set of double doors. Um, and you enter into a new space. Um, and as you enter into this kind of um, last area of the temple, you see um, like six stone pillars kind of bracing up this vaulted ceiling. Um, and there's just a thick layer of dust everywhere. But across the far corner, um, there is a altar. Um, and around the altar are four humanoid looking skeletons with like priestly tattered robes on them. They look long dead. Uh, there's no blood or flesh. These things have almost completely decayed. Um, so you get a pretty good sense that the orcs didn't do this. Um, it's just kind of a gross sight. Um, and then one of them is slumped up against this altar. Um, and the altar like top, it's, it's a stone altar. The altar top has like this um, like human eye kind of set into it, um, like carved into it, into the stone. Hmm. And Calix says, um, I, can, I, I think I have the maps around here. I can probably get that for you. Kind of scurries off. So now we're in here by ourselves? No, no, she's, she's still in here with you. She's just kind of looking through like the tchotchke she oh. has on the side as she's trying to find maps. Mm. Calic, what do you what do you know about these dead bodies that are here? Who used to live here? I have no idea. You could search them. Maybe you find out more, but orcs don't really care much for this stuff. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I might take a look at that with my friends while you're looking for some stuff. Uh, roll an investigation check. So um, you, you're searching through the bodies, you're looking at the altar, you're kind of feeling a bunch of things. Um, the, the, um, the humans, like the skeletons that are there, they do have bits of their clothes still wearing and they are wearing um, priest robes. So you can pretty much tell that they are, um, they were some type of priest and priest of this temple. Um, everything here has long been destroyed, so something bad happened to them quite a while ago. Um, they have that similar eye symbol. Um, roll a quick history check or a, a religion check for me. If, if anyone wants to figure out a little bit of what that, that symbol is, roll a religion check. So Celeste knows for sure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just hit one. Oh. <laughs> cool. So Sless and Torin recognize this symbol. Um, makes the most sense. You're kind of both pretty learned in this area. Um, th this shrine of Savras is a shrine dedicated to the god Savras. This is his symbol. Uh, Savras is the, the god of divination and fate. Um, so essentially like divining the future foretelling, uh, it's kind of his feet, his fear of things. Um, you know, a little bit of what happened to this shrine through legend and rumor and just things that have come up, but this place was basically destroyed by, uh, barbarians that were, um, basically seeking the, the, the nearby towns, like seeking to rob the nearby town, but all of the townspeople fled here to try to hide their, their gold. Um, no one ever found the gold, 
Um, but they basically murdered all the people in retribution because they were angry. And so these were the, the dead priests from that attack. Um, Seducius, oh, wow. though, with that investigation check, one of the things you noticed um, is that the altar doesn't seem to, like, sit completely level on the floor. Like, there's a little bit of a gap all the way around. Um, so there's, like, a little bit of, like, a hmm. quarter-inch gap or so between the, the altar and the, the stone altar and the floor. It's not actually sitting on top of the floor. Hmm. Um, hey, Torin. Yo. My strong, beastly friend. Uh, I'm noticing this, this altar might have some give that uh, I'm wondering if you could maybe push it out of the way for me and see if there's anything underneath it. Of course. Let me go full sin. Okay, so Torin goes to push it. Um, Torin, as soon as you push it, I need you to roll a constitution check. Or actually, um, constitution save, sorry. So, exclamation point save, space con. Or you can do it on your character sheet. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like so dead right now. Uh, cool. um, so you, you kind of touch the, as soon as you put your hands on this altar you just like are flooded with these visions that would knock most people on their ass and just like completely incapacitate you um, you're still a little bit lucid and able to describe a little bit of what you see to your teammates but you get uh, an image of Ice Spire Peak um, the kind of mountain as you're kind of like flying kind of bodilessly through this space and and if you kind of you kind of curve around Ice Spire Peak and are shunted to this this stone fortress picked in there, and on the rooftop of this fortress is a white dragon um, blowing f like ice no. all over the place, and it kind of blows like it blows this ice blast in your general direction, and you're shunted back into your body. Um, you were able to push the altar, and the altar did move forward, and it seems like there's a bit of a wooden coffer in the floor. Uh, but you're kind of reeling from this um, this vision you got as soon as you touched the altar. Seems like the god Savras wanted to give you guys some information uh, upon uh, touching this 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 altar. Hmm. All right, maybe we shouldn't bust through it. Just touch it a little bit more. See what's good. Nothing seems to happen as you touch it again. But it has cleared out a space underneath it, and there is a wooden coffer. Um, like a wooden box that you can lift out of there. Open. All right. yeah, it's I'll not very it large. Out. It's maybe a foot by a half foot. It's not very large. Um, you open right. it up, uh, and inside you find about 60 gold pieces yeah. and a key. Like a long, pretty pretty large key. Um, but the end seems weird. It does have a bit of a glow to it. Right. I'll hmm. pocket, pocket it and see where it goes yeah. I think we should check out the rest of the space to see if there's any keyholes uh, I'll say with your investigation check because you roll pretty high it doesn't seem like there's anything else in this space it's pretty clear <gasps> okay, okay. okay. Um, but I think cause it's about midnight um, let's we'll end kind of on this last scene um, and we'll do a quick recap for next time so Kalik does kind of roll back and she sees you guys kind of move that and she's like, oh, that's weird. Um, she didn't notice that you took anything, so I'll say you moved it pretty quickly. Um, but she does bring out a map uh, and on the map she's able to show you where I Spire Hold is. Um, so you get pretty clear directions without having to go too crazy. And so she marks it. I'll just say since we have that in purple, we'll just kind of keep that theme going. I'll do it in pencil. So the pur the purple circle is Ice Spire Peak. This is where Ice Spire Hold is. And so you know the dragon is layering there. Mm. Um, so we'll end there as we know where the dragon is for next time. Um, oh. You were able oh, to avoid most of the fights in this area so far. You're still in this temple. You found some secrets, and Zendri noticed that there is a golden bell hanging from the rooftop. Um, and we hmm. will pick up next time from that place, friends.